podcast is intended for mature audiences. The views and opinions expressed are those of the panelists and do not reflect in any way those of the podcast partners, sponsors, or affiliates. Enjoy. Hi, this is Michael Buffer, and you're listening to the voice of the people. Let's get ready for Boxing Voice. Every day I'm hustling, 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 hustling. Every day I'm hustling, 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 every day I'm hustling. What broke him down? Was it just a body punching? I was hitting with body punching, I heard him actually he was crying in there. You were saying that Big was crying when yeah. you were hit him? Yes. Yeah. When, when did that happen? And perhaps the fourth round on. Boxingwoods.com. So you knew you had him by that Absolutely, time. Absolutely, but I knew he was, he was tough and he was taking those punches. Follow the DPLC Productions. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up? Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another edition of the Boxing Voice Radio, the Breakfast Club of Boxing, helping you get through your work day. It is 9 a.m. here on the East Coast, and we're here to discuss and continue to discuss the great action that took place this weekend. Richardson Hitchens and Diego Pacheco get the win What's next is on the agenda for TBV this morning. So you can obviously engage in the comment section. Let us know what you'd like to see for Diego and Richardson Hitchens in the comment section. We'll obviously be talking about the two call-outs from uh, Edgar Balanga to Diego Pacheco. So hopefully Matchroom can give us that in-house fight versus saving Berlanga for a potential Canelo uh, option. Maybe this is exactly what Berlanga needs. Go through the fire that is Pacheco and graduate uh, if you can. Same for Hitchens. What's next? This is what we'll discuss. Ringwalk Danny, what up? Top of the morning, top of the morning. How are you doing, brother? Cannot complain, man. Cannot complain. How were the fights, man? How was it being there live for the action? Well, what was media? Uh, what was media role? Uh, you know, hate to put you in a bad bad spot, but like, what was media role's um, feeling about the main event? Who they thought won? Oh man, well, I will say that that was a very big topic of conversation. Okay, and uh, you know, I was around. I was around. You know, solid group of media guys. You know, uh, TBV alumni. Sean Zatel. Yo, and, uh, he's Ron, the, he left Ron Fight Hype. Up. Bro. He left crazy, Fight Hype. Right? I sent you the tweet. I thought you was going to send me some like inside info. Like, yeah, he's about to work for fucking PBC. Bro, zero indication. Like, bro, we was just chopping it up. We talked probably more than any other fight. I can't we believe he's just, leaving uh, without announcing. by each Le- other. I leaving no everybody clue. waiting and shit. He got everybody wondering what he about to do next. Well, you know, uh, what you call it did the same thing. Uh, Umar from IFL. I didn't because I wasn't really like, you know what I'm saying, what he's doing now. Really? Uh, I mean, I don't know a thousand percent for this to be the case, but it seems like, it seems like he now is running Box Nation. That's good. You know? Which, I mean, I don't know, bro. They their access Box out Nation, there is like different level. Yeah, but Box like, Nation been around for so long. That's a that's crazy. That's like yeah, a, yeah, that's yeah. like a channel out there in the UK, or it used to be. That's how I used to watch yeah, UK fights. For sure, for sure. Uh, so you know, shout out to Sean Zatel, man. I'm sure he, you know, he got something big cooking. You know, so we shall see. For real. But yeah, no, I mean the fights was pretty calm, pretty chill. I'll go leve. You feel me? Uh I hadn't been to, to a fight in like a month and a half, two months. So I was like, oh, it'll be cool to get out the house and you know, go out there and 
catch one live. Obviously, uh, Diego Pacheco, somebody we was familiar with. Same with Hitchens. Wanted to see them. I showed up. Uh, showed up pretty early. Got to see Diego's guy get the get the pro debut stoppage. Uh, let's see here. Then you had Sky Nicholson. Obviously, she won her belt. Um, pretty pretty easy. Uh, first time seeing Sky Nicholson fight in person, I will say that was kind of a. Uh, I don't know. I just, I guess, I never paid attention to how much she showboats. You know that that so that was kind of new for me. Uh, you had the Galalia fight and, and the Agustin Gauto fight. <clears throat> that was a that was a pretty entertaining fight uh, in itself. Um, Diego Pacheco and our boy was pretty much what I expected it to be, right? I mean, we we've seen Sean McCollum. We we know what Sean McCollum has done in, in in the gyms. Yeah, I mean, um, that fight was pretty ugly, to say the least. Pretty ugly, and uh, you know, uh, I ain't like all the holding. Yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, it said, I think it's for tomorrow, Danny. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, because on there, it just gives the fight date. So. Yeah, no, I know. I'm sorry. It didn't, it didn't copy tomorrow. paste the whole thing. Got you. Now, to be clear, this is for for me and not for you, right? What the fuck? I don't do that shit. I'm, if you don't want to go, don't go. I mean... No, 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 no. I'm just, I'm just, just making sure, champ. Nah, you know... You know, uh... This Batman Beyond, bro. I'm old Batman in the cave. You the new Batman. I stay back. You know what I'm saying? Make sure everything good from 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 headquarters. From a four. Yeah, you the young age. You the Batman Beyond. I'm trying to tell you. But listen, uh, Edgar Balanga has been very vocal, which uh, a lot of people didn't think he would do. You know, um, people thought that. Diego was on another level compared to Edgar. You know, Edgar is the one that gets the, you know, quote-unquote uh, bum talk and all this other stuff, right? Uh, mm -hmm. But now, after this fight, it seems people think it's a 50-50 fight. A few people called in Sunday and said it's a 50-50 fight on... Uh, Saturday night, we got a few individuals saying that in the chat. Um, and Edgar, since Saturday, has posted these two tweets here. And as you can see, April 5th, before the fight, he put best super middleweight in the world, showing his version of amazing head work, uh, you know, head movement, you know, uh, but you heard, you, have you heard this drop? I can't, I can't wait for this to drop. Nah, let me put it over here. Well, all right, whatever. Yo, you know. Yo, why? Yo, we need more no, American when drop, rappers. When I said drop, for real, I, I, I DM'd them twice already. Like, bro, when so, is it dropping? I'm say, no, when I said drop, that's what was hard. But I will say, I think that's just because that's like your style. Oh, of like, course, bro, of course. That's not for everybody. You know, Diego literally walked out to his own custom corrido. Like, you know oh, saying? did he? Yes, like was it, did I don't you, know but what did Mexican you feel artist. it though? What, was you like, oh shit? Cause I'm like that, you know, like that first verse alone, like that first uh ball is fire, you know, let alone the way the so, beat drops. And then, so it's then let alone that a non belt champion, a guy without a belt, has got like, you know, Spanish rappers continuously making songs about him. Shout out to Hummins and Desires, man. 
Xander had Mike Towers. I have no clue who this dude is. I think it's like uh, Concepcion or some shit. I don't know. I was just going to ask. So, so, so you think that's off the muscle? You don't think they paying? Nah. When I clicked the link, homie got hella millions. He's a producer. So no, I was just asking because I know that's that that's a thing in the, nah, it's in the a Mexican track. culture. It's a track because no. uh, I seen Edgar tag him like, bro, when we dropping this shit, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know, maybe it's uh, no. I I know I'm, I was just asking because like in the Mexican culture, like all you need is money. It, it's not a status thing; it's a money thing. Mm. So if you got money, you could get a, a song made about you. Yeah, I mean. That's cheating. You know, it's more about people wanting to put you in a song for me versus you paying to get put in a song. That's pretty lame. You know what I'm saying? Now, I get it. You want to get a song made for you, but it's just, it hits different when someone drops your name in a verse positively versus you paying. I don't know. Uh, but outside of that, the track is fire. The little bit that he teases. This is the second time he teased it, too. He put it on his story a couple weeks back, and I hit him up, and he told me, like, nah, it's going to drop soon. Then he fucking dropped it again as a post telling the producer, like, when it's dropping. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I want to see. I mean, he put me on the other dude. The dude that walked him out, i never been following him. Homie, definitely fire. Um, I don't want to butcher his name, but it's like Laur or, uh, Lael or some shit. Uh, Hey, Jim, yeah, that shit not happening. I don't know if you've seen. Oh, all right. You know. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I do want Pacheco and Diego. I mean, Pacheco and, and Berlanga. It's the easiest fight to make. I don't think that we really should be throwing any other options out there for, uh, for uh, you know, Diego when there really isn't anything as uh, entertaining as this can be. Um, yeah, glad it's that not wrong, happening, though. though, brother. It's not happening. What's not Let's happening? Let's not waste no time. At least not this year, not anytime soon. Why? I mean... It's Edgar's last to... fight. Excuse me? It's Edgar's last fight. Yeah, I feel like that's probably even more reason why it ain't gonna happen, right? I mean, it seems like, uh, and not just with I them, mean, but like if you hold on, just real quick, mm -hmm, real quick, mm -hmm. right? If you're not re-signing, why are we just gonna give you the big one or or a big one? You but get it, what I'm saying? It's not really the big one. No, a big one. I meant a big one. And a the reason one. you getting it is because they gotta recoup. I mean, they. The rumors they paid him one point five, bro. No, I I hear you, but I think they're gonna want him to resign to get a fight like that. Um, I mean that's kind of like what history has shown has shown us at least recently. I mean, I think he should then, resign if you want to go that route where you believe no, is is a must. I agree. Yeah, I, I think agree. he I mean, should. I don't really know where else he's gonna get that sort of treatment. Who said it? Fuck. What other super middleweights we recently have on the show? I don't remember. I feel like we just had a super middleweight on the show that said all the super middleweights are with PBC. Oh, uh, I seen that too. I don't know that that was us though. Okay, I thought it was us. You know, maybe that was Diego. Hard. Maybe oh. that was Diego. You interviewing Diego? Yeah, my interview with Diego. Yeah. Okay, so. So <laughs> shout out to shout out to Diego and uh yeah the the Hardine. But uh you know I saw another interview, shout out to Brandon uh from True School Sports. Yeah, I had him on the show Pete yesterday. Conley. I had oh, him on the okay. show yesterday, yeah. Cause you know, um I know you told that story, but you didn't say who who name it was, but I knew who you were talking about. So I wanted to give him his victory lap, you know what I mean? Because I hate when uh boxers do that they single out a media person try to make them nah but at least he still got the interview you know no, for I'm sure saying? for sure but i'm just saying like uh i Wait. wanted i wanted the story to be clear that 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 you know here's another instance where a person noticed something and, and because of that you getting you know you getting singled out is the easiest and most polite thing to say um for no reason but let me slide in this counter that just came through. Looks like Cliff in Connecticut. Hmm. 
If you are tuned yep. in in the meantime, me? hit that subscribe, yeah. smash the like. What's the word, Cliff? Cliff, we hear you. Unmute yourself again. Again, my bad. Yeah, man, you came to me nice and quick. I like that before you got too far. Yo, so I'm a, I want to talk about <clears throat> what I thought about the fights, but first I want to address um, you saying he should fight Berlanga because – so right after the fight, I felt the same way. But I got to say, Ness, you never be consistent because what Danny said is exactly, is exactly what you said. For about Shakur. Shakur. Yeah, but it's two yeah. different situations. Shakur, it's the last fight. No, Why would but they it's, give it to him? it's two different situations. Shakur isn't coming off of a knockout performance. You know what Either I'm saying? Either is Diego. <laughs> no. But we talking about Berlanga has the last fight on his contract, so he will get oh, Diego. And oh, he's a, however you he's, slice the he's pot. a big he's a big fight for Diego. So in it's different for 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 Danny. I mean, for your scenario, right? Like Shakur, it's hard to get him fights, and he gets a three million dollar minimum. Berlanga is vulnerable. People think he could beat him, and his minimum is smaller. You, you so that's that's I I hear you. That's so, your basic argument to why it fits in this scenario, but not in that one. Well, of course, like Shakur's hard to beat. So if 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 I'm top rank and it's your last fight, why would I give you Murataya? You're hard to beat. You can beat Murataya. In the eyes of the public, is Edgar Belanga not vulnerable? Yeah, I think that's a 50-50 fight. <laughs> All right then. So if you think it's a 50-50 fight, wouldn't Matchroom be more inclined to do it? I, I why, but why? What do you want to be? Uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't, I don't know. This I mean, is they just built. Based think about it. You. Think about it. Bro, they built Pacheco I, from O and O. They have Pacheco from O and O. So yeah, they signed the quote unquote big name. Who deserves it? Think about it, y'all. Like y'all not thinking business. I grew up Pacheco, just like I, I mean, did Raymond Ford. So I need that name to cross them over. Yeah, I don't think uh, like you keep you keep going over there, but I don't think it's him. I think it's Berlanga and his side. Like fuck that tweet, bro. His whole manager was saying that years from now, that's a fight that makes sense. It'll make sense for years. Like, come on. It, that's yeah, another but the thing, manager's right? just the manager. If the fighter believes he can beat him, we we we've been here. We've been no, here. yeah, we have been here. And, and Berlanga's so never talked like this, let alone about Pacheco, who people always talk could beat him. He sees something but like Mikey. When Go has ahead, he Cliff. never? When has he never not talked greasy? Like not, what? Not to Pacheco. Show me where he said he could beat Pacheco. Show me where yeah, he but you, Pacheco was. But you ass. talking about he ain't never talked like this? He always talked greasy. This ain't nothing new. I mean, I don't even know anyone he's spoken to directly. Who? Despite how greasy he Bro, talks, as long stuff. as long as I've 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 known of him, he's always spoken greasy. Okay, directly to who? That's what I'm asking. Who has he singled out like he did in these last two tweets? Uh, I mean, I mean, but who did he single him out? I'm not even and, being funny. And, what do you mean? He fucking tagged him and tagged the wrong person, and he said his name in the first one. Like Danny, let the caller get his call. You true? I didn't yeah, know. That's what I'm asking. I mean, I, I led with that for me. Information good for me, but at the same time, fighters pop shit all the time. But when not do we him, get... though. That's what I, he's saying. He pops okay. shit all the time. I'm saying, show me when he's been direct with a fighter. I heard what you're saying, and I didn't. I don't know about him popping this shit to no one, but in general, fighters pop shit all the time. And normally in this sport, we never get a matchup like two young fighters like this that don't want to lose. They oh, we never get it when we want it. And we barely ever get it, period. So I don't think they're going to do it. So, you know, just off of history. But one, you already got the shit where it's his last fight. And then you got, they're both young and they both got O's. Like, if they did do this fight, it will be beautiful. But when do we ever get something like this? This is almost like saying Kid Austin and Mason would fight nah, or something. These, these dudes are further along than Kid Austin and Mason. Pacheco is mad young. Kid Austin and Pacheco got to be similar. Again, like, again, oh. but Austin ain't headline under Golden Boy. Like, no legit headline. Pacheco has. Berlanga has. Berlanga makes half a million dollar gate. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you're talking about two different levels. This fight is right. ready. It's not Can that I fight. 
because there ain't no money in that fight. There's money in this fight. This Mexico. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. This Mexico versus Puerto Rico. And one of the dudes is a draw. And y'all think he's vulnerable, which means more Mexicans going to come out to watch him beat the quote-unquote vulnerable Puerto Rican. Hey, I'm all for it. I'm going to watch it. I lost money this weekend. I'm going to touch on how I felt about the fights. I lost my fucking Yo, money. Did you should have you know tuned into the betting group, bro. We made money this weekend. He every said betting group. Day. Really? He said betting group. Don't even, don't even listen to him, bro, because that shit is not open to what the public. Mean? How you going to say I, tune into the betting I, group? Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and how you, oh, how, it, how are bro. you in it? Don't you got to be part of the... Uh, uh, nah, it's just a select, like, real ones in there because they good at uh, what they damn. do. Well, well shit. shit, I need to, I need to get invited because I do be going off sometimes. Yeah. But the betting show, y'all inconsistent. So I know, I man. Know we, 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 we are not. I ain't said a show. We are Yeah, not. I know you talking about the group, but I'm talking about the show because yeah. y'all inconsistent. Oh, and I'll be sure, looking for forward sure. To get some advice. Yeah, but they in there, they in there fucking that group up, man. They in there making money off hockey and all type of weird shit. They, yeah, they I'm, I'm only here around my here bad, for the box. My bad. I, I ain't know the money was green and di- I mean, I ain't know the color. The money was different in different sports. Man. It's just ain't yeah, nobody interested in that. But, nobody interested yeah, in that. I, I don't watch hockey, oh. so I answer it. But looking at the fights, y'all lost bread, yo. Um, I, Pacheco has been a savage, yo, knocking everything out. Coming up the ranks, I, I don't know the level. I look at this dude's box rack he is fighting. I was not impressed. This dude had a wow. Well, you should have wow. been. You should have been impressed with the sh- Money Powell win. With his what? With Sean McCalman's Money Powell win. Uh, not well. I don't know Money Powell, but I wasn't Money impressed. Pa- was because- it Powell or some shit like that? He never went over eight rounds. He would knock a few guys out, then get a few decisions. For me, he was a, a green fighter. And for someone like Pacheco, the way they're pushing him, you would think Pacheco is is up and coming like a morel. Yeah, so but I'm Champ, like, that was his first slick black fighter. And maybe yeah, you never watched Sean. Maybe you never watched Sean. But when you watched him Saturday, did you not see slickness? Did you not a, see the feints? Yeah, I was impressed. He was way better than what I thought he was going to be. That's how I fucking we lost. We told y'all I that, though. I t- I'm telling you. And we said that for free. Like, I mean, I, I'm granted. I said I'm biased because I interviewed Sean. But I told you I seen him spar. I probably watched his interview, too, and didn't put two and two together because I'm always up here. I think I do remember that. But the dude was decent, and I would ne- I didn't pick the, de- uh, the decision. I went with the knockout on all my tickets. That's Besides, crazy. like, one, I might have had money line that I made a crazy parlay. So, Diego killed all my shit, yo. He pissed me off because I expected Damn, him to bro. continue street and he didn't but if you would have made the fucking boxing show the betting show and gave us what we fucking want now i'm saying i probably would have known the hedge with at least one yeah, or two and, and, and let me tell you there's one dude i don't know who he is and he ducking me because i gave him the vi- the advice he won i want my 10 percent. he like yo ness mccallman going over seven and a half i said absolutely and sure enough over seven and a half you know, um, yeah, my consistency is trash, man. I'm blaming it on Danny. I could try and do it myself, but again, some of these Friday shows been going so fucking long um, that it's just very difficult to hurry up and double back to do another fucking show after you've done eight hours. You feel me? It's getting crazy over here. Uh, these weeks have been uh, long, long show weeks, but... We got Suleiman the Scholar. Yeah, hello, Nesta. What's up? Yeah, man. So those fights were pretty good, man. This is a guy's style. He got a different kind of style. He got Olympic pedigree style. He's a boxer, a much needed fighter. I think this guy will be the guy, uh, Richard Hitchens will be the guy to defeat a lot of these opponents at that division because he has a sneaky style. He's improving. Um, he didn't get hurt through the whole fight. Um, he shows style. The thing is, he's built clean. Bro. He's a clean fighter. Like, if he waits for the refs to break them up. You know what I'm saying? He got a standard clean fight, fighting style. I think uh, he showed maturity, too, in that fight. Because the other guy was a little too wild. You know what I'm saying? But uh, that guy, he he also got uh, a lot. He, he lost his all, but he got exposure. 
he's going to probably recover from that. They're going to probably give him more work. Um, that was a, it was a good ex, um a good uh, display of boxing this weekend. I, it was entertaining. You know what I'm saying? So um, this guy saying that Diego Pacheco, Diego Pacheco will get concussed if he fight um Berlanga, man. It's two different. Levels. That guy is nowhere near the level that he's even lower ranked than Berlanga. And plus, how much money are they? To, are you talking about? The, the manager has is 100 percent right. That fight has to be made in the future. They 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 build him from zero, but. He, how much money are they, are they going to pay him a big purse, a million dollar purse? No. So that guy should not. Wait, 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 wait. Why do you think he won't get a million? If the rumor is he got one point five for McCory, why won't he be able to get more or the same for Pacheco, who's going to sell more tickets than McCory? Well, if they could pay, if they could pay him, but I don't see it happening. I don't see them pay. But if they could do it, if they could pay him. Like a two point five, yeah, why not? Why Whoa, not? and you know he's gonna go, bro, bro. You know, it's a like non-title a fight. Players a non-title but fight. Like he, um, no, 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 no. But you said they paid him how much for McCoy? The rumors one point five. They put a one point five. Yeah, 1. bro. 5. I mean, for you to think that no he's gonna fold for only half a million more. You didn't uh, see that Keith that interview, did you? I didn't see the Keith interview, but Danny, where else bro, are you I'm going to get? I'm telling you, there's what zero interest in that. They, they, they don't. There's zero interest from their side. That's how you're supposed to act, just like Canelo. You know, a, 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 a big number. He asks for a front. You, you gotta show no interest. But what else can they offer him, Danny? If they want to recoup the money from the last two purses, the Brinkley purse. And the, and the, and the, and the, and the, and the, uh McCory purse, and then factor in hypothetically, let's say they they consider in re-signing. How do you do it? You gotta offer him Pacheco. What else can you offer? You you cannot offer Canelo anymore, unless they're gonna offer him Canelo on some secret shit. Like yeah, you know Canelo told me after that Jaime fight he's coming over here type shit. Like that shit ain't gonna that shit he can't. Uh, believe that? I mean, what so can they offer? It, him? It, are they gonna offer him Pacheco like the last fight on the new deal? I don't like, know. I don't know. Maybe it's the last right, fight. Right. Maybe it's an extension, Danny. But what what I'm saying is, again, a few things. I'm I'm, I'm just what trying are they to, gonna I'm offer? Trying to, I'm just trying to uh, make it make sense from yeah. like, you know from your point of view. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, Suleiman. Again, a few questions. What are they gonna offer? How are they going to resign? Yo, get him a title fight, man. Why, why you don't do the Morel fight? Why you can't you get him a title fight. <laughs> you can't oh, get him a title man. fight. And he already said he don't want the Morel fight. Because the money's not right. If they offer him the good money, he, he well, has it's the title also, it's his also game, cross promotion. You know, Morel, Morel is rumored to be coming back possibly in June in Minneapolis versus Trevor McCumbie. But, but he's he still messed the, up. The, Nestor, you saw the fight? You saw how much he trouble he had with his last opponent, um, Diego Pacheco. You think he's gonna be able to take the punchy power, Berlanga? That's the thing that that that, that guy's he's he's gonna get toe tag, man. It's, I mean, he takes the punching that, power of Benavidez. But that's so what yes, I'm saying. But that's what I'm saying. I don't get how y'all thinking. Like, so what is Matchroom doing? Did 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 Diego look that bad to y'all that y'all saying Matchroom don't yeah. want the Berlanga yeah. fight? He looked horrible, bro. He, Berlanga would concuss that dude so fast, bro. You see the power, this way he knocked out McCarvey? You think but, um, Diego Pacheco could take that? No way, man. That, that guy is too, way too hard. He's too he's too dangerous, bro. He's the Godzilla of that division, bro. When punchy power, no. The Godzilla? He has more punching power than anybody, has more punching power than anybody oh, in that man. division right now. And you know that Canelo's going to have trouble with Berlanga, bro, because his size is punching power alone, bro. So, you know... And he's learning every day. He's brand new. He's fresh. You know what I'm saying? He's there to make the money. He got the chip on his shoulder. He got the people behind him. He's the people's champ already, bro. So, you know, this is what we have to consider. And he's getting top dollar. Why is he going to... If they don't offer him the right purse, he's going to do the Canelo bit. Everybody's doing the Canelo now. He's a, but, he's a well, new Canelo. I, he, yo, you, 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 you... How can he do the Canelo? That's what I'm saying. Like, Danny talking yeah, about Canelo his man. For, right. Yeah, for a certain... A certain price range. If they don't offer him two and a half mil, he's not gonna do it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Thank you for having me on, boss. I, uh, you have me on, but at, at the end of the day, it's business, bro. Business uh, is business. You yeah, know? it's okay. business. Let's uh, let's give him two and a half mil. He sells. He only sells uh, half you know, million. quarter of that in tickets. Yeah, nah, know, yeah, I don't uh, know, and, but and we gonna make money hand over fist. It's business. 
Oh, man. Um, I don't know. You guys are mad negative. I'm going to try and go back to the positivity. Where where could Matchroom put this? It's not like it's a Vegas fight, right? Because these guys, you know, I mean, look, they did do Jaime and what? Dervianchenko in Vegas? Was that in Vegas? I mean, I mean, unless you can, unless you can correct me. But when you ask the question, where do you put this? The first thing I think of is what city has the most mixture of, of Puerto Ricans and Mexicans, you know, in one city. And I think of Chicago. Okay. Damn. I he's think never we number been in three. That, he's never I been think, in that I market. Think, That's a new market for Berlanga. And Berlanga think, is the one that's, quote, unquote, the draw. You know, he's the one that's been able to sell tickets. So, um, because Pacheco headlined in L.A. and he's mad that people didn't show up. So, we ain't even going to look at those numbers. So, I don't know, bro. Uh, damn, Chicago. I never considered that. And and the issue is, Danny, it's not like Matchroom's going to do two June dates. Like, do you think um, Matchroom you know does... Hear me out. Do you think Matchroom does uh, the Puerto Rican in June 15th with Sabril, which is already cemented, and a June 6th in New York with Berlanga? No, nah, I was just going to say, I feel like, oh, I mean, those dates don't add up, but. Uh, what you mean? I mean, you said a 15th, which, which is a Saturday, then a 6th, which is like a Thursday or a Wednesday. Well, the, so. the week before the 15th is the June is the Puerto nah. Rican Day Parade week. Nah, hell no. They ain't not doing that back-to-back, -back, and he too prideful to go co-main at this point. That's what I was saying yesterday, that I wish he could be David and do co-main with Sabril, yeah. bro. Get that fucking he, that so Puerto I mean, Rico he, love. I think I think that, but he has, you know, in, you know, like three years ago, he was on the Wilder Fury on the card. Um, so I don't know. I just feel like uh, I I can't see him being co-main to Sabrina. That's insane, bro. You see what I'm saying? That's insane. Like, why why these egos got to be like that? Is perfect for him as an as an American Puerto Rican. He needs that. He needs to fight over there under a, 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 a legit Puerto Rican born in, in La Isla and get that fan base. Be the co-main, get a knockout in front of your people, and be, be adopted. Be accepted. I don't see how that's a bad thing, bro. Like, I thought he was in camp because he going hard. I thought he was in camp possibly for that. So... I don't know how true this is, but according to my research, Chicago has the third more the the third largest Puerto Rican population in the United States. God, really? Uh, behind only what? behind New York and all New in York Orlando and Philly. What? There's more Puerto yeah. Ricans in Philly than there is in fucking Orlando and Tampa. No way. I literally just yeah. ran across an Instagram post where they was like, "What part of uh?" Orlando, Puerto Rico, you from? And they had the map. And this was 2020 census, so. They had the map, right, of Florida showing you, like, central Florida, like Tampa, Orlando, and then they put the island of Puerto Rico covering parts of it. Mm -hmm. So you get the island going into Tampa, going into Kissimmee, going into Orlando, and they like, yo, we're part of, you know, Florida, Puerto Rico, you from? And uh, I feel that because, bro, Kissimmee, all Puerto Rican. Parts of Orlando, all yeah, Puerto Rican. Yeah, bro, but real quick, real quick, just a, just for context, Orlando's population is 316,000. We so got crazy. suburbs. We got we have suburbs with that. You understand? It's so, so crazy. That so means that, that they made the roads bad as hell here for, for, for this. Because Tampa, you said, is like 300,000 the last time you checked. It's like, bro, how is it this much traffic if you keep, you know, acting like it's not a lot of people here? Yeah, 390, 390,000. I feel like that grew. I feel like last time you 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 checked it, it was in the low 300s. 
Uh, I say 2022, so I don't know. But regardless, that's what I'm saying, bro. Yeah, they probably... Alex said that's what, cap. Put, he said your census is cap. There's way more people. Florida has the most Puerto Ricans, he said. And he's from Puerto Rico. I mean, he's from uh, I mean, West Palm. I'm, I mean, unless he the one conducting it, but... uh. You know, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. National. He said Hurricane Maria. More valuable. He said more Hurricane Maria changed word. it. He said Hurricane Maria changed it. So wh- when was Hurricane Maria? I don't know. What the fuck? Twitter disconnected. This shit is the most buggiest, weirdest thing. I mean, he's saying that my senses changed, or that Hurricane Maria changed it. But yeah, this was three years prior to my senses, so. Hmm. Let was me get three to years not enough time for it to get changed. Drew, Damn, that shit took place on the day of my birthday. That's fucked up. What's that? Hurricane Maria. You there? Drew. Drew, Drew. Drew. No Drew. Yeah, nah, it's fucking uh this shit again, bro. Bro, did you watch my Chino Madonna interview? Nah. Drew on Discord. That was uh that was pretty funny, I'm not gonna Drew lie. Drew on Discord. Y'all hear me? Yeah. My audio. All right, all right. Ness, hit the fucking music, Ness. Hit the fucking music. Let's go, baby. Yeah, come on, man. Let's get that Berlanga Pacheco going. Let's get that early rivalry when Berlanga puts Pacheco in the dirt for Jose Benavidez Sr. and get David over there in the ring and him and David join, baby. Let's go. Let's make what else are they gonna give him? Uh that's Danny. What can they give him? Well, the problem is, the problem is, right? Um, you fucked with one promoter, so you can't go over there now. Um, and then the other promoter, uh, you know, I feel like he could go over there. I don't think they've explored that option in PBC. Let's not forget that uh, Keith Conley had Danny Jacobs, and he was the first no, fighter that, Danny uh, over there. You know, so, uh, but, yeah, you can't do shit with top rank. So, I don't know, but I just think it's too much money. I just think they're going to want too much money for what they bringing in. And, I uh, agree with you there, Danny, but isn't it, isn't it a, a Danny versus Edgar even more money if they want that fight? Oh, uh, you, you said a Danny? Danny Pacheco? Oh, no, hey, like no, Dan. Um, like for Edgar, uh, for yeah, Edgar yeah, and uh, Edgar and uh, more, Danny Jacobs. How much more? I mean, again, like how much? If if he made one point five in his want? last fight, if no, no, I mean that's the that's a simple thing. He ain't making no million. So if if he got if Edgar got one point five million, his manager's publicly saying that's a fight that needs to happen years from now. How much do you think they're gonna want for it to happen next? Oh, you know, when Keith Conley talking that crap, he talking at least another milli, at least. Oh, okay. If so, he got 1.5. So agree- no, I we're in, a, a, we're in agreement. Want- we're in agreement. Cool. So now you have the yeah. 2.5. I just said your, your tickets do a quarter of that. So just business sense, make it make sense for me. Sell me. That's what I'm know, But who just, are they going to give him? Just sell it to me. No, I mean, bro, I think no, they're going to give him was, a, a, a guy at the level I'm he's been getting. What I want is them to sell it so the I want the hype for the Godzilla of 168 to keep growing. So the finally the time he finally steps up, their balloon is burst. You know, get on the train, Danny. Just we want more Puerto Ricans and to, to rise, Danny. So when they I lose to a Mexican, we get them tears. Take a coat man then. So we could we could have a huge I wish he would. I wish he would. I mean, he not trying to. He don't want it like David. He ain't willing to take a call, man. He a he a star, Daddy. He a Terra Squad star. You know. But uh, shout out to you, gentlemen, working hard this morning. Shout out to the Godzilla of the one sixty eight division, Edgar Belaga, baby. Hey, matter of fact, matter of fact, you know who he gonna end up fighting? 
Y'all, y'all was talking. Well, I ain't gonna say y'all. We was talking about uh, the Danny Jacobs fight. You know who he gonna end up? Uh, he gonna end up fighting Sergey Deryashenko. Watch. Are you crazy? Okay. I don't think that uh, Sergey's Dan- back in the ring in twelve days. I don't Watch. think that uh, the zone approves it. Maybe they do because, uh, it, you know, his last fight was a little bomb burner uh, with Jaime. But uh, real quick, I got to take a quick uh, intermission. You know, I hate when Twitter's down, so we're going to have to go through the necessary steps of restarting that. Uh, so give me about one minute or less for that. In the meantime, uh Put your attention on the screen. Don't forget to use the code TBV. Head on over to www.kenichibear.com and be like Danny. Sound crystal clear when you're talking on the show, even if you're not using the attached one detachable mic that he misplaced. I'll be right back. All right, all right, all right. We are back. Hopefully that worked. Let me uh, restart the Discord. Uh, Mike, check to the Danny. Are you in the place to be? Yeah, yes, indeed. What's the word? Back at it. We back at it, bruv. Let's see. Can we get this uh, going yet again? And... If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. It's going to help with the visibility of the show, putting the episode in the eyes of other boxing fans that don't know. We rock out multiple times a day talking at boxing. Hit that subscribe button, too. Definitely trying to hit that quarter million subscriber mark. We're going out to... Good job trying you 1,000 times. I tried you a bunch yesterday, man. We're going to keep trying today. You there? You there? He ain't learned how to rock yet. Eventually, you'll get it, my friend. Jump out, jump back in. That's uh the best recommendation. A lot of people also jump out the app completely, close it, jump back into Discord. Um. You can try that. And now Twitter's working, as you can hear. So silly, that place. I need to get that shit together. Goody, trying you again. You. Good job, are you there? And you are not. You must have something going on with your mic player. Let me double check something here. Yeah, I don't have you muted, so this is your own issues here. Keep trying, my friend. Jump out, jump back in. That's all I can say. Copy cool, what it do? Twitter's up and running. Let me get that new link out to the people. What's going on, champ? What's what going it on? What it do? What it do? Um, yeah, man. Um, I think uh, due to that fight, you know, I think both those guys, Richardson and Diego, kind of got, ex- I don't want to say exposed, man. I just think that those things happen when you step up, you know, and uh, and fighters, right? When you step up the the caliber of fighter you fight. So I just think that those are things that are going to happen. 
And we've seen that Pacheco had a an issue with that style of fight. I mean, you called it from the rip that it was going to be an interesting fight. Um, and it makes a an interesting point where now people are saying that it may be a 50-50 fight, Berlanga and um, Pacheco. Um, I think that uh, I agree with that. Um, I didn't see, I, I mean, I was never big on Pacheco from the rip. I thought that it's still, guys, these guys, I don't know what, what the problem is where, you know, we have this habit of just jumping on the bandwagon and saying, oh, he's the next best thing and not letting the guys grow into a flourish into the fighters that they should be. And then uh, something happens and then we're already kicking them out the uh, the wagon. You know, we're just like, oh, well, he's not as good as we thought he was. Maybe this guy will beat him and <clears throat> to let the guy grow. I mean, it's part of boxing, you know, um, and that's how I feel about this. You know, um, uh, I think that uh, it is an, int- an intriguing fight, but later on down the road where Pacheco has built the name, but uh, talking about as far as where this fight would be in, uh, enticing, I think Florida will be the uh, um, the, the place to go to. Um, like you were saying earlier, since, since uh, Hurricane Maria, uh, those numbers have changed in Puerto Rico. I think more than two hundred fifty thousand. I mean that that hurricane was years before the numbers I gave out. So, oh, for real? But I know, I know for three, sure that three since, years. I, I know two, three, three years plus. Okay, I know for sure though. Two hundred fifty thousand people um, from the island, uh, or actually, I'm sorry, half a million from the island went over to Florida. And I want to say about 200 went back after that. So there is still a, a number of Puerto Ricans still in Florida. Um, also, uh, uh, also, why not the Mecca? You know yeah, what I'm saying? But, why not? But because because we're catering, we're catering to both guys, not just to one guy. That's why. That's why Absolutely. I gave. That's yeah, why that's, I that's, gave. And as I far gave as, city. oh, I'm sorry. No, I was gonna say the city I gave is. Top three and for for Puerto Ricans and top five for Mexicans. So, you know, I think yeah, it's pretty I, fair for 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 both of them. I think also like uh, New York would be a, a good one because you know you got Jersey right there, and there's a lot of Mexicans in Jersey that come up. You nah, know, it, uh, that will, bro, like, I've never seen another. I've never seen not one Mexican in Jersey. Not one. Uh, I've spent crazy. months. You, you I've spent months. I've literally spent got, months in Newark in the Newark area. I've, the I've whole city of Mexican. Brazilians, never a Mexican. <laughs> the whole city of Paseca is Mexican, bro. You're going to the wrong cities. All Google, of, all Google of... Danny, see if you're right. See if he's right. Check Paseca and what it is. But I told you that, like, that's why I brought my son to the West, because we don't really see Mexicans like that. Yeah, we see them, but they're they not like, you know what I'm saying? It's not like over on the West. It's, it's crazy on the West. Even here in Florida, I feel like, what's the demo in Florida? Even though I hear a lot of people left Florida, especially Mexican, because of the governor and, you know, his new laws or rules against certain Mexicans. I got all all Hey, Bob. champ, mm-hmm. champ, watch mm-hmm. this. How many in Pase? Registered. Not, e- not even half, brother. Not even half. Half of what? Of the population. It's Hispanic. They don't even have... Boom. So you got 40% white, and it says white alone, not Hispanic or Latino. That's 40%. And this is census.gov. You feel me? This is like straight from the government, right? And then we have 15% uh, black or African-American. And then we have uh, we have 45% Hispanic or Latino. Which that could be, nah, know, that certainly could be, a mixture. You know what I mean, certainly a so, mixture. Yeah, point is, champ. I'm in love with with that area. What's that called? The tri-state area? Is that what you would call it, or what would you call it? Yeah, that's like the tri-state the New, area. Or 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 is it like New York metropolitan? They use both, but tri-state is more for uh, New Jersey. Uh, Connecticut, New York, I think. No, New Jersey, okay, no. Philadelphia, New York. Well, right there, the reason I love New York and like that Jersey, like Newark area kind of right all right there, bro, is because of how diverse it is. Like 
me being from Chicago, I was very impressed uh, that I'm like, wow, you know, you get Puerto Ricans and Colombia, like things I never saw growing up. Right. We have Puerto Ricans in Chicago. They just an hour away. And if you ain't, you know what I mean? If, if you ain't got no reason to be over there, you ain't finna go over there. So it was like, damn. I I knew like two Puerto Ricans my whole life. And I went I went out there to kick it with Ness. And it was like, you know, uh, I think my third or fourth day, they had me, they had me memorize the Puerto Rican national anthem, bro. So it's a beautiful thing out there. Right. You know, I think Chicago can b- provide the right amount of uh, crowd, you know, your, your, your Mexicans and your Puerto Ricans and, and so on and so forth. So uh, New York would obviously be another great location. I mean, uh, Edgar's fought out there. I don't know if Diego has. I don't know um, that it's like the ideal location, but Fight Town nonetheless. So, I wouldn't be pissed at New York, but when do we get it? You know, I don't think that's going to be no time soon. Let me let me help the show slightly because Berlanga, even though people laugh and they got all these jokes, he's such a star, so big of a name that, you know, 51 minutes into the show, no one's mentioned Hitchens, not once. I don't even think Danny answered my questions about what he want for Hitchens next. Like, but but y'all like the joke that Belanga's a nobody. But 51 minutes in, counter punches and all, motherfuckers did not mention Hitchens one time. Not once. But I hopefully with this PSA, then y'all start calling in to also say what y'all want. Because Hitchens' name is first, by the way. Then it says oh, San Diego. I was muted. No, 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 no. But to be fair, I started at the bottom mentioning the guys you you didn't even talk about. You get what I'm saying? So that's where I what started. Bottom? I was working my huh? What do you mean? Bottom of what? Of the car. You said I didn't even Oh yeah, because Hitchens. I mean the show was only about Hitchens and Pacheco. Get the win. What's yeah, next? Yeah. Yeah, Tim, but you know how you are. You Oh, Danny, you was there. How was it? What was media like? What was... Oh, did you see Sean retire? For sure, for sure. But like, you never bro. told me what's next for Hitchens out your mouth. All you said is that Pacheco yeah, won't get Yeah, because you cut Berlanga. me off after the Pacheco okay, didn't start taking Okay, Chip, save us. Save us and Hitchens. What's next for Hitchens? I want to see a rematch. I said that yesterday, too, man. Said um, that yesterday, I'll too. I'll say this. But I don't know um, that the rematch is bigger than the Regis fight. I didn't. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I don't. I don't think that. And if you're trying to be a nemesis to Devin, the best thing you could do is ask for that Regis fight. Prove you. No, you know, no, no, you, no. You I beat was a common say, opponent I just don't with think Dev. that either guy. I don't think either guy wants that next. You know, um, what? Regis you mean is Regis? saying get a belt, then I'll fight you. Hitchens is saying uh, he was a bum and that. Uh, you know, he'd want a tune-up before a title fight, that he'd rematch uh, Lemos in New York in September. What? He so said I... that? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's amazing. That's good. He should. He just said under, he just said under no IBF rules, though. Oh, so he said they bothered him. I mean, I'm just saying what the tweet said. Oh, it's a tweet. I thought you had a conversation with him. Nah, nah, this is a tweet. Nah, they should do the rematch. Uh, let me ask you, though. Regardless of what he said and the other one said, can the rematch, because it's a rematch, pick up more steam than a Hitchens-Regis fight? Or is Hitchens-Regis just bigger because of Regis? Uh... I mean, he's definitely bigger, but I don't know. I feel like there's something about rematches, right? Yeah. I mean, if you keep Conley, like, you've seen what like, you've seen, but like Lemos, do you still try Lemos, to... I'm just saying, Lemos don't, uh, don't bring that name. Like, bro, th- and you cut me off when I was saying that, when I asked you about the, uh, the, the, the Chino Madonna interview. Bro, Chino being Argentinian, nobody knew. We thinking he with Lemos. He nah, he was there with the, the other dude, uh, 
Guato? Augustine Ga- Gauto, yes. Yeah. So we figured that out 30 seconds into the interview. I'm the one translating, but it was clear. Not just, it, you know, it's not like, oh, I'm here with Gauto, but, you know, I'm going to support my country. Bro, he could give two fucks about Lemos. What? Like, he ain't show no interest, no care. He ain't pick him to win. He ain't do nothing. Damn. I mean, so you know. I'm like, I'm like, damn, bro, you're not even like respected or like supported within your own country. Cause we, we have to keep in consideration, like, we're the country of hate. You know, all these other countries typically Support. supporting their country, countrymen, you mm-hmm. feel me, or women. So that, you know, that surprised me. Um, I wouldn't be mad if it's not Lemos and his Regis. I think that'd be his biggest fight to date. For sure. For, so, so, uh, so, so, for, so for you, so, so for you, the Regis fight is still bigger than the rematch. Yeah, I think so. I think so. I, I mean, I want the rematch. I didn't score it round by round. I'm gonna start off by saying that. I did. I didn't score it round by round, but you know, using my fingers and 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 and. Uh, you know, the way the fight was playing out, I mean, it was a it was either a draw or a seven fight either way to me. Yeah, I had it a draw, bro, but like I said, I had two swing rounds, so I ain't mad at anybody that swung it either way. Cause then yeah, that gives so you the 115, 113. You yeah, know no, saying? that that's how I had, you know, a good friend of mine. But it was uh me. It was poor officiating, though. That referee is disgusting. I mean, these dudes, again, there needs to be more suspensions in this sport. That dude's disgusting. He he never took a point from Hitchens. That was like Kelbrook level of holding. I think, uh, I think one thing we have to point out, and you could look it up if you'd like. Pretty sure his name was Caiz. I think that was Raul Caiz yeah, Jr., yeah. if I'm not mistaken. Bro, that was like third or fourth, fight, maybe he, fifth fight of the did night. Did he ref? Did he ref? Right? I noticed that. Yes. I noticed that he was overworked, bro. He was overworked. Yes. So I, I, I didn't want to use that word, but I did notice his activity. I'm like, wow. I'm like, yo, this guy's busy. Uh, you know, and I did wonder that. I did wonder that when I saw that. I'm like, bro, was he worked too much tonight? Because I feel like he did not the Coleman, but the fight before. I'm like, did he need like two fights in between? Bro, you get what I, I'm thought, I thought the same. See, now that you was there, you're telling me. I said to myself, bro, didn't he just ref the last fight? So no, they, I, was, I was telling them. Uh, they I must have did him back to, to back. I thought, I thought you can't even do that. No, I thought he took one off. I thought he took the Coleman off. Yeah, no, not I think. Bro, uh, Robert Hoyle did the Coleman. Because I remember pointing out Robert Hoyle refing in Prada shoes. You understand? So Robert Hoyle did the co-main, but I'm telling you, uh, Raul Caiz Jr. did the fight right before that, which was like Galau Yafai and, uh, and Gauto. So uh, I noticed that. I pointed that out. I pointed that out to other media in the media row. Uh, you know, but que se le va a hacer? For real. Um, RRT Boxing with Mr. A, first $5 super chat of the day, he says, if this was the UK, Diego and Edgar definitely would be happening, but in the US, milk and crap, let get this fight. I guess he meant, let's get this fight. Yeah, uh, but yeah, in, the UK, in the UK, they probably would be making, not even exaggerating, but in the UK, they probably would only make 10% of what Pacheco, I mean, not Pacheco, but Berlanga is going to want. Again, that's y'all saying he won 2.5, man. Like, I mean, you, you give know, us a number you think yeah, he I, won. I, I just think it's crazy of an exaggeration to say he's getting 1.5, so to fight Pacheco, he's going to want a million more. Like, y'all just throwing out millions, like. You know, like right, again, cool. 1. what fighter, so these guys what fighter are out here getting a million anyway? You know what I'm saying? Ain't, 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 ain't. He's already at the top. He's already in that conversation of fighters. I'm not knocking them for 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 being paid. I'm just I'm just being realistic, and it ain't just me. Other people feel I that. I mean, look. but y- y'all, but y'all looking even at if it we like base that. It off, even not... if we base it off of y'all not looking at it like. 
Matchroom is like, bro, this is what we're paying for this. You can't keep making 1.5 for McCory's. You want 1.5, we want Pacheco. Like, y'all not looking at it like that. Like, cool, he got this deal, but where he going? Because I know for a fact it's going to be hard to get 1.5 guaranteed over there on PBC. And he going to have to, you heard Brona, he going to have to fight some monsters, preferably the monster. If not David, the other David. So I, it's not like he wants to go over there. So I, I don't know. Y'all acting so negative about this. I believe this can absolutely get done. It's not, it's not like he got many, many, many options. You know, he's got to be strategic in how he says yes and no at this point because he can end up with his only tough fights. Two-tone the superstar, two-tone the superstar versus Shakur Stevenson's July 6th. Shaking my head. $2.00. Bro, y'all know who it is, man. They not going to announce it because, you know, it's just going to be a last minute. They not going to promote it crazy. He don't want to resign. They, you know, it's going to be too bad taste in your mouth. That's what they trying to make sure it, it they do. it wasn't announced already? Nah, I mean, I mean, yeah, by Mike Coppinger and myself. Hmm. Me first. Tip, what up? Yeah, if you want one of these fire ass WBC world champion mm -hmm. shirts or a TBV shirt or a Jared Anderson shirt as he does fight this weekend or whoever else, head on over to FTWR.com. Use your code TBV. Yo. Save yo, you yo, some yo. chicken. What up? What up? What up, man? First of all, you know, I want to shout out Cody Rose, man, on beating a uh, tribal chief last night. You know what I'm saying? And a great match. Yo, that was crazy. I. I Yo, actually watched it. No, the Undertaker came back. Choke slammed the rock, bro. You know what I'm saying? John Cena came out. F5, Roman Reigns. That shit was on the chain, bro. You know what I'm saying? But look, bro, man. Uh, I hadn't seen a WrestleMania yeah. in 15 years. Ain't that crazy? Since I was nine I think, years old. I think that's the one. Man, I, I can't even remember the last WrestleMania I watched, honestly. I ain't going to hold you. I don't watch a couple of pay-per-views. What well, made you watch hey, yo, it? Hey, why y'all disrespecting, you disrespecting uh, Richardson Hitchens, man? Like, stop doing I, that, No, nah, no, nah, I'm, I'm going to get the Hitchens, but I feel like we disrespecting The Rock if we don't talk about The Rock. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, think about it. Like, The Rock is the biggest figure <gasps> in the world right now. The Rock is bigger than Michael Jordan and Mike Tyson. You know what I'm saying? If I'm just being real. It doesn't matter what you I don't say. Know about that. Yeah, yeah, I don't know about that. I'm telling, I'm telling you, bro. The Rock, the Rock is bigger than Tyson. Now nah, you probably know. right. You probably right. He been in movies all type of shit. You probably he, right. He on, he on Schwarzenegger status. Like, but yeah, like, like Jordan only got Space Jam. You got, you feel me? He got the motherfucking Fast and the Furious series. Then he got a spinoff with Hobbs and whatever. Nah, I mean, <laughs> he got Tyrese. WWE first. Remember when Tyrese broke down because of that? Because he got the spinoff? <laughs> he was jail. That's crazy, bro. Hey, but look, but look, let, let, let me get the Hitchens before my call right now. Yeah, man, uh, I want to see a rematch, bro. You know what I'm saying? I think Hitchens beat him. You know what I'm saying? I think he beat him. Uh, I, I called that 115, 113. Uh, Tim Cheatham, we all know what Tim Cheatham does. If y'all haven't noticed, Tim Cheatham is always the guy with the, the scorecard that's like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? That's always Tim Cheatham. Bro, let me uh, tell you something he, about that scorecard, man. He and I seen the fight identical through eight rounds. He started cheating after eight. After eight, he talking about somehow Hitchens <laughs> won nine, 10, 11, and the god-awful 12. I can't believe some people gave him 12. That's just Oh, no, wild. he won 12. Bro, I told you, bro. Listen. When a man ain't throwing no punches and he's just sitting there walking you down, bro, you can't get rewarded for that, bro. For just like 30 seconds of work at the end of the fight? Nah. He ain't do nothing. I told you, Hitchens kept popping that jab at him. Folks mad, but that's what I'm saying. Like, look, in the rematch, bro, Hitchens, Hitchens gonna cook him on some uh, Floyd Maidana shit, bro. It's not even gonna be funny. Like, I'm so serious. Like, he gonna cook him bad. But bro. that's good. Reason, but he need to do that because, but, you know, I, I he, 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 he and his promoter said he was on the Shakur and the Haney level, and that didn't really look Shakur Haney level. And then uh, I think the reason he wanted in New York, bro, that crowd ain't even sell out, dog. That, 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 no, that no. That was another thing. After Diego fight... They couldn't even do 3,000. Hundreds left. No, 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 no. But I'm saying oh, after Diego's left? fight, hundreds of people left. That's crazy. Like, 
Diego, oh, yeah, Diego bro. had a mob of people. And let me be honest with y'all. Sean had a mob of people. Like, yeah. if y'all go yeah, back, I, heard I don't the know cheers. if you can pick it up. No, I heard the Okay, cheers. I was going to say. Because in person, it'd be Sean's people cheering. And the it was more Diego people. It was more Diego people. But he Sean had a good amount of people there, too. Now, the commentators also highlighted Sean's people. But I could hear the women. It was specifically women cheering for Sean. Loud as fuck. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. They, they, they need to have that in New York. Give, give Hitchens the hometown event. You know what I'm saying? Being that he won the fight. And Berlanga, man. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we not fucking with Berlanga, man. Dude don't want to fight nobody. I mean, I mean, look. The, the best thing he could get is the uh the Danny Jacobs fight. It's the best. It's the best thing he could get. Champ, that's the bell, but, you know, Jacob's got to want to fight him. That whole family got to want to do that because that's what they say they family. Bias Brim, unbiased Brim. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How out thou? What up, what up, what up? Hey, man, you know, I'm busy on multiple fronts right now. I had to come and chop it up with y'all for a little bit before I get back to it. So, you know, um, I got a new name for Richard Richardson Hitchens. It, 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 you know, a lot of people like it. It's Richardson Clinchins, you know, because, you know, the clinch game is on one million right now. Uh, salute to him getting the victory. I did have the fight as a draw. A lot of people thought he did not win the fight. Um, I blame the referee because the referee least should have been warning him because there was, some of those clinches was unnecessary. You know, like it was he was just grabbing the grab. So, you know, it was a lot of hugging. I think he was um, I, out of I, shape. I, I, I think he was out of shape because when when post fight he was specifically asked like, "Oh, Matias." He was like, "Yeah, I think Matias. You know, you just got to be, you got to have a good plan, good game plan, and be in in good shape." Because like Limones, they're gonna come to fight. So it's like, damn. So you saying you wasn't in shape for this one? Because he was clinching like I mean, a motherfucker. Oh. He was looking at the clock. I mean, yeah, I was gonna say I think the the clock was pretty noticeable. Oh. Well, yeah, he kept looking. At I that mean, clock, somebody said that he broke ground. Haney's uh, grab record, though. Haney had 57 grabs in the first Cambosis fight. They said Hitchison had 68, so he set a new uh, jab and grab record. You know yeah, what I mean? I so mean, shout out I to that. Even, I wouldn't even compare it because Limon's was landing punches. That's a fact. Limon's definitely landed some punches. I mean, did, who did you guys have winning the fight? Hmm. I had it a draw. I as, did too. As did I, bro. But, All right, so we on the same six, page. But that sixth round, and and obviously, you know, I think it's the tenth round or my swing rounds. I gave the tenth to Hitchens, and I gave, okay. um, excuse me, I gave the sixth to Hitchens, and I gave the tenth to Hitchens. But those are swing rounds for me. So, you know, any one of those rounds that you seen either ten or or six, if someone's seen that for Limon's, you know, that's that's a win for Limon's. So it's, it's it's either or. Yeah, true story. Now, how about the irony that the referee with the 117 and 111 score is Tim Cheatham. 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 He no, cheat him. No, the irony, <laughs> the irony is that he and I had it exactly identical one through eight. But at eight, he just, I don't know. He, I felt like he uh, only seen for Hitchens. He went after eight, he gave. But how can you do that? Because the backhand of the back end of the fight is where Hitchens was getting, you know, getting pieced up a little something. something. At the very least, uh, again, uh, I, I feel like I'm in the minority with round 12. But every fucking ref, every judge gave Hitchens 12. I, I felt like he didn't win 12, bro. I felt like I was watching Oscar De La Hoya versus Tito Trinidad, except. Trinidad was landing punches in the 12, meaning... Oh, yeah, I know it's my time. So before I go, <laughs> before I go, I just want to say this. Bite longer. Show me you got some nuts. Go fight well, Pacheco, he want, he even though it's probably going to be Jacob. He the one calling him out. So, you know, tell Pacheco to get some nuts. He the one calling him out. He, I mean, he I'm the pretty one sure. Twice. Uh, look at you, look at you jumping the captain save, bro. Bite longer. Look, you put that... What, what, Danny? That was your bell, uh, by his brand. What? I said, uh, Diego definitely said his name. Uh, yeah, because you, because you, because you, because you said what you think about Belanga. He ain't come out and call him ass. He said he's a good fighter. Belanga said, You ass. Yeah. You want Are me, you, you want me to play you, your, your short? 
He literally said he walks through him. He's like, My he's like, bro. I'm not gonna. No, no, yeah, he's like, I'm not going to sit here and act like he's not good, but he's not on my level. He's like, I'd have walked through him. But he I'm still called sure him a I, good fighter. I thought I thought he said ass, but, I mean, regardless, I mean, he said he'd walk through him. Right, but he also called him a good fighter. Pacheco said, Berlanga said, Pacheco, you straight ass. Then he woke up um. the next day, doubled down on that shit again, like, yo... You a fucking bum. That's, he said, you a fucking bum. You can't fuck with me. That's a fact. You haven't fought nobody to punch like me. And I got IQ. No, he said, and got the IQ I got. Huh? Me siento como Berlanga. Suleiman, you got a counter punch, baby. Team Berlanga and his bitch. Yo. What up, Trace? What up, though? What up, though? Going on, Danny? What's the word? Feeling like a villain, man. But damn, I'm hearing y'all talking some Chicago shit. You, you, you had a thought popping into my head. I, uh... I was like, I let always me guess. Let me like, guess. He won Kenny Sims now. on the car. He won Kenny Sims on the car. Bingo! No, 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 I was. No, no. no he, he. I've been wondering. He wanted in Ohio. I, he feel O'Shea Jones could sell more tickets. <laughs> so he go. He go say. He go say. He the go say. There's a lot of Puerto Ricans. Don't be mad. Hey, don't be mad. Don't be mad. There's a lot of Puerto Ricans in Toledo. Here he Y'all go. just don't hey, know. We got pockets. Hey, we got he pockets. Said, he said, he said, hey, you he see said, man, we ain't got really too many Puerto Ricans, but we got a Puerto Rican restaurant. Clarissa got, Clarissa got on that ass. Now he upset with me. Look, don't be upset with me. Look, hey, well, she can come I'm, up to 47 and fight. That's with, if Clarissa with, uh, don't want to fight her. Look, don't and why, why, why when y'all talk to me, y'all can't just talk to me? Why y'all got to bring up other people? I'm, like You the one brought up O'Shea Jones. Oh, you brought up O'Shea Jones. he got you. He did bring nah, up O'Shea Jones. You brought up O'Shea Jones, my boy. Bro, I was trying, I was any, just trying any to get Ohio my call fighter, off. Brother? Any you still, Ohio you fighter, brother. You still went to her, though, so he had the door open. He walked through it. You opened it. You feel me? You opened it. You feel me? So he had to kick that bitch in. You, hey, so we had to kick that bitch in. You so, know, but, so, hey, but, hey, but listen, but no, 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 let me see. Nah, that's ain't gonna let it go. Let it go. Look, Trees, 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 ain't gonna let it go. <laughs> you know, Danny can't lose. He ain't gonna let it go now. Ah, oh, man. No, hey, I'm no, just trying to, I was like, trying to give some boy some love. Go ahead. Go ahead. Who love? I was trying to get the boy Kenny Sims a fight, man. I'm just wondering where he been at. Bro, you know, was on to He was at the fight. Oh, damn, look. He was at Bingo. the fight. Look, I offered him. I, I heard... offered him co-main. On, I offered him co-main on the on the big show in July. He said that's too far away. So hopefully we see him. You who, know, before who, then. Who said it's too big far away? That's, that's what Kenny said. Weird. Damn, oh, okay. he said I offered him. Damn, Danny, you out here doing it like <laughs> look, that? Hey, ring, hold on, ring walk promotions, goddamn. Word, what word. you mean? <laughs> Don't speak. But hey, I'm just saying. Look, but if he, you know, Chicago fighter, I heard you mention the Chicago. I feel like that would have been a nice little look for Mr. Sands. We ain't seen him out here and whatnot. But hey, but I mean, then he was right. I mean, he's a but free he agent. Right. He is a free agent. Who that be? Kenny, Mr. Sands. Oh yeah, Mr. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, but hey, but then you was right. You you know I'm on my bullshit. But hold on, because we got a fighter for one of these for Mr. Pacheco around this bitch, Antoine Lunchman Jones. You feel me? Out of Toledo, no, Ohio. Of you feel me? Hey, whoa, 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 he be on that. Uh, he be on them Albert Bill undercards. One man, an undefeated fighter too. No, that's what's up. That's what's we up. He's just not we ranked or like that. That's all. I mean, and that's okay. Your man's look like he needs something like that. We got, like I said, we got a tough fight for him here in the city. I man. mean, you Pacheco just don't know like... boxing because Sean McCallum, uh, you know, is like that. You feel me? That's all. Sean McCallum just sparred world champions, lead sparring partners for world champions. You know and, that's okay. Sean, and that's okay. Sean is hey, very, my guy, very. My guy signed the splits. My guy signed the split team management. I'm sure, uh, Miss okay. Fina, shout out Sarah I mean, Fina, be giving I, my guy some work. I was just, so, hey, I was just. So I'm just saying that we got that we got an available bro. body. Out, you've been shout on out to them, real... bro. But they're just, you know, they're they're a B side management company. That's all. You, so you, hey, you out here hating like a motherfucker today, Danny. Why the fuck is he? 
Oh, he hating like a shit, mother bro. What's shout up with you? Shout out to Tia Fimo. No, shout out to no, Tia Fimo no. Lopez. Exactly, it's still hating bro. That's her only guy, God, bro. Damn. Like, we do. Yo, you wild right now. Yo, we hating the hardest. Right I'm, what bro, is this? I'm nah, not wild. I got to go. 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 I'm going to remind you. I'm going to remind you. That's literally the question that you asked Serafina when, when, she, start, when she was working with them. And... You know, I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure we got an agreement outside of T.O. who they got that's not a B side fighter. Bruh, what are you talking about? They got like O'Shea Jones, they got uh Conwell. Like, bro, I don't know that you going through their roster. They got a lot of fighters. Like, that statement is wild. They got like multiple dozen of fighters, if you didn't know. No, no, no. They have a lot of fighters, yeah. I'm just saying most of them is coming in B-side. That's all. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> What's uh, the last B-side fighter? What fight can you point to it since they mostly coming in I mean, B-side? I mean, I'd have to definitely pull it up. But yeah, uh, bro, I mean, so I'm just saying not, they don't have too easy, many A-sides. Then. It's not easy. They definitely man. ain't got too many A-sides. Uh, it's I, T.O. I, I disagree, but uh, we could look it up. Make it easy, chat. Are you dead? Hey guys, good morning. What's up, Danny? What's up, bro? How are you? What up? Yo, you had a good weekend, eh, Danny? It's funny, man. I I um saw the Clarissa smoke with um Alicia, and I shared it. You know, whatever. Uh, some a video match room, I think, and then of course our man Danny was right in the thick of it. I should have known, right? Uh, then I watched your video, Danny, on the on the channel. Yo, that was great. I must have been fun to be there. Um, anyway, just quick, uh, I'm surprised. I'm surprised that Tip Bayless doesn't use this opportunity with Hitchens to line up his boy. Uh, Gurry Antoine. Because Tip What's just up with be that? trolling, bro. He don't really be thinking. Now he's going to counter punch and be like, oh, yeah, no, Gary Antoine, uh, we, we, you know, uh, you know, like, you know how he does. Bro. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not trying to uh, throw shade at Tip. All I'm saying is Tip, I think that might be a good, a good fight for Hitchens. I, I just think with Hitchens, they but need to is, keep. It is cross promotion, though, and he left that side of the street, oh. so I don't think they'll give him that oh. fight. But then again, I you know, Antoine that. is considered a a talent talent. Yeah. So maybe if they think he could beat him, they do send him across the street. Yeah. I'm just trying to think of, like, I, I had Jose Ramirez in my head, too. I know he's got a fight on the books right now. But I just try and think of uh, good, experienced guys that come forward. Like, I feel like they got to keep Hitchens feet in the fire. They, they've got to keep. Uh, the pressure on him until he figures this this out in the ring, you know? Um, I don't think he's going to be able to beat a champion um, if he doesn't get uh, this problem figured out because I don't think people are uh, thinking about the Zapata fight, too. I see this as, like, two fights now with kind of the same issue. It's just Zapata gave a lot less resistance and kind of gave uh, Hitchens more space and time to do the work he needed, but it was the same kind of problem with uh, Zapata coming forward and Hitchens having to create space, right? I see the I see the two fights parallel, like the same issue. Um, there's guys uh, for Hitchens for sure. Um, I think a former champ, something along that line, would, would be good if they can line that up for him. As far as a rematch with Lemos, I think that I, I think that'd be great, but to do that, Hitchens will have to kind of acknowledge that the fight... Not necessarily that he didn't win it, but he's going to have to acknowledge that there's a reason to have a rematch, right? I, I'm not sure his ego will allow for that. Um, but yeah, a rematch would be would be perfect because he's got to get, like I said, he's got to get that figured out. Um, as far as uh, Berlanga goes, I, I just why can't we get a measured opinion about Berlanga? It's either people think Berlanga's trash and hate him, or they think he's ready for he's like a fucking world beater. I, I love what they've been doing, re, rebuilding him since he's come back. His last five or six fights, he's been getting the rounds. Um, they, they've been doing building him perfectly. But I don't think he's necessarily ready to be uh, a belt holder yet. I'm not sure he's quite there yet. I think a Pacheco fight would be perfect. Like what? Why not? Um, 
Pacheco, he, he, uh, M- McCallman was a tricky opponent, man. And people yesterday was talking some shit, like talking, oh, it was boring. I heard all people saying all types of shit. No, I think, um, I think Berlanga needs a, a couple more fights at that kind of level. But you don't and want him in with show... Pacheco? No, I do. As I'm saying, I think Pacheco and Berlanga would be a great fight, man. All right. Like, I, I wanted, Mun- I wanted Munguia, but obviously we're not going to get that anytime soon. But someone on that level, I think, for Berlanga is exactly what he needs right now uh, to show everybody Champ, that. that's you know, the bell, <laughs> but I am with you. I like the fight. We got Treese. There's a counterpunch for you from Box for Money. Counterpunch for Treese, the man. We got Octo with the $2. He said, can't lie. Hitchens' jab game is on point. Fire emoji. Hashtag stiff. Um... Treese in Toledo, whenever you ready. Dom on Twitter. What it do? Good morning, TVV. What up, Ness? What up, Danny? What up? What's the I word? had to uh, go back, rewatch the fight, because, uh, man, you disagreed with how I scored the last, I think, 9 through 12. Yeah. You some issues with. Yeah, you, um, get, you, so... you scored it like Cheatham. You gave Hitchens 9, 10, 11, and 12. All right, well, hear me out, Ness. I went back, I rewatched it. Round nine. Oh, man. You know, Lemos, he went the first half really without connecting. And Hitchens, that jab was working the first half. Um, I think people want to give Lemos that round because Hitchens kept grabbing after almost every exchange. But that was more so out of like caution from the previous round. Round eight, he lost that round probably worse than anybody this this fight so he came back very cautious and uh lemos had trouble connecting through most of that round but he got some nasty hooks and body shots off in the last minute so i think maybe people want to give him that round for those reasons um but round 10 i mean but you just said it though you said hitchens did some good jabs but he was holding after every exchange so if one guy is holding and one dude is doing body shots how how do you score I get that perspective, but I didn't see that from Lemos until about the final minute to 45 seconds. Um, you know, uh, he was scoring through, I'd say, two minutes, um, even with the clinching. Uh, so I, I still give that one to Hitchens, um, but close. And nonetheless, uh, 10. Hitchens, he saw success in the clinch finally, I thought. And um, instead of just clinching, he was, you know, getting some body shots off and some combos uh, coming off of the clinch. Um, and I thought that was a Hitchens round through the start. Uh, but in the final minute, they were really banging in. I, uh, I still give that to Hitchens just because he edged it the first half of that uh, round. And uh, round 11, yeah, I changed that to Lemos. Um, wasn't really as close as I thought, and he threw his hands the whole round. So, you know, Hitchens stayed active, but wasn't really connecting clean like I liked in the uh, other rounds I mentioned. Uh, so that... That would uh, that would make it uh, what, what is it uh, fucking six five I think. So heading into round twelve, yeah, I don't know what I saw at first. I give that to Lemos as well. I changed it. Um, yeah, Hitchens was really just evading the whole fight. Maybe the first minute he was throwing his hands, but just abandoned the offense. So yeah, I give Lemos that last round, and that makes it a draw six six. Um. You know, close fight, but yeah, for sure, um, should have been a draw. Um, you know, nobody's a champion here. Don't give anybody rounds just because. Oh uh, yeah, good fight. Uh, I do want to say that Hitchens' outfit was fucking amazing. That's one of the best outfits I've seen in a while. Whoever designed his outfit, credit to them. But yeah, just want to get on record here and correct myself. Peace, y'all. For sure, man. Uh, appreciate that. I'm glad one other person finally seen the 12th round like myself, man. Um, I don't really understand how they gave that round to Hitchens. Uh, and that would have been the draw. That would have been the draw round for most scorecards, you know. Um, and it's unfortunate, bro. That dude... And again, you know, he didn't see the ninth for Lemos. Maybe I need to go back and watch it. But I thought Lemos carried over the same momentum from the eighth into the ninth. 
And Hitchens carried the same leeriness from the eighth into the ninth, meaning he came out holding. You know what I'm saying? He came out that ninth round worried that Lemos was still going to go for the knockout, worried that Lemos thought he was still, you know, physically hurt from the, the previous round. Uh, Cincinnati, Brandon, what up? What's up, Ness? How's my audio, brother? Clean. What up, Danny? What's up to the whole TBV community? Um, first, let me get um. What's the word? What's the word? Man, I can't call it. Man, shout out phone now. But oh, let me talk about Richardson Hitch. He's in a peculiar situation. Wasn't that his last fight on this deal? Or did I no. my hair? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Cause um, he's in a peculiar situation. He's not really a draw. He's not bringing in subscriptions, and he's not really a big ticket seller. He doesn't really have a fan friendly style, and he doesn't have a title. So, if I'm a promoter, why am I still going to be paying this guy to fight guys that aren't champions, you know? So, I think he has no choice but to hurry up and get a belt just so he can get an extension. Because without a belt, now, I don't my, see my producer saying. My producer saying, can't he get re-signed just clearly off of Dalton Smith? You got to remember, Matchroom is still a UK-based promotion, so they need Americans to build their fighters who are usually better ticket sellers than ours. From a, I don't know. From a, from a, from a, a, a general standpoint, right? Like We obviously have stars that sell amazing gates, but I mean, like, from, you know, if we base an average fighter versus average fighter, not stars, like, those dudes sell tickets. I don't know if I'm going to resign him in hopes that he fights one of our UK fighters. So I don't know. Smith, I don't know. Maybe... No, it's not one of our. It's Dalton Smith. Remember, his last fight, he looked really good. Got the stoppage. Um, yeah. He's looking he like something. He did what he could He's looking like something. You know, and that's what I'm saying about Pacheco getting the Berlanga fight. Like, how do I homegrown you from O and O, but don't give you the Berlanga fight? Yeah, let me get on that. As far as Richardson Hitchens, either rematch this dude, um, go to Montana Love route, or go to Regis route. He ain't really got time to get no tune-ups or tomato can fights. He needs to step it up here soon because ain't nobody about to be paying him for some of that shit he's been putting out. He's already got dropped from one promoter, and Floyd, he's probably about to get dropped again. He's just really not whoa, an exciting whoa, whoa, fighter. Whoa. He, he didn't get dropped. Remember, he asked for his release. Yeah, Florida. they they didn't see it. Yeah, they they having him, they had him inactive. They weren't really seeing the potential in him either. So, but as far as Pacheco, no shit wrong. I don't think they should rush him into a Belanga fight. What is he? Twenty one, twenty two. You said rush? I he, thought Belanga was the one that was he vulnerable. He said twenty one. What the? Twenty. How old is how old is? Oh, Pacheco, twenty six. Why did I thought he was like a lot younger? Who the fuck am I thinking nah, about? He, Ain't he from South Central? He was. Oh, no, he's 23, 23. I'm lying. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. I knew he was young when they first signed him. Yeah, but yeah, he's got potential, man. I don't think there's no need to rush him. They need to be thinking, probably trying to. I was thinking of Berlanga. I'm sorry. I was thinking okay. of Berlanga. That's 26. I love what I'm hearing. Hey, Drew, I hope you're hearing this shit. I love what yeah. I'm hearing, man. Like, y'all used to call Berlanga the bum. Now, all no, of a sudden, gotta listen. Now, gotta all listen. Of a sudden, we got to protect to Pacheco. Me, you got to listen to me, champ. You ain't listening. I'm, when the I, teacher I mean, calls in, I, let me that's teach. That's what I heard. I heard you say we got to protect Pacheco. Champ. No, I'm not saying we got to protect Pacheco. He's 23. He's got potential to be a big-time star. He's from South Central. He's Mexican. He's got the Chicano background. There's no need to put him in there with a belonger just yet. You was just saying my don't dude, rush fucking hit just you got to let they, me speak. Yeah, right no, it's a conversation once the bell rang. Listen, um, they didn't even sell out 3000 with your, with your Chicano and all this bullshit you capping about. Okay, but listen, put him in there with a few more cans. Let him get some knockouts, build up some momentum, get the Mexicans behind him, and he could probably be a big draw in L.A. like a Leo Santa Cruz was. There's no need to put him in there yet. They this might need wild. to scale it back. This is wild. Like, I thought Belanga was the it's vulnerable wild. one. Okay, but it's not well. We got a potential star in fucking Pacheco in so, this Mexican who so can be him, a big draw in L.A. Let him take out the big draw in Berlanga who people think 
ain't good. I thought that's what the, what y'all say. You don't have to ru- you don't have to rush. They ain't even on the same trajectory, bro. That's all I'm saying. But Longa's hey, closer yo, to a title. My man said, ru- I can't even believe yo, and I'm not laughing at you. It's just like I never thought I like I always heard people talk down about, it, but now, now, now fighting Belanga is you rushing your prospect. That's crazy. You are rushing. He's a he's, key word. Prospect. Belanga ain't shit for a contender or a champion, but for a prospect, he pro- we just seen Pacheco bro, has on, I'm pretty sure they on the same level, bro. I'm pretty sure I pull up the rankings. They they oh, all man. top five. They both top five and 68. I'm just yeah, saying so, at the bottom. I don't, I don't see no need well, to rush not him. Not they need to put him on a, on one Danny. in WBA. Pacheco 11. Uh, then what you would got be smart. Here, WBC, Pacheco 5, Berlinga 8. IBF, Berlinga 4, Pacheco is 5. WBO, Pacheco oh. 2, Berlinga 5. Exactly. My man out here capping for magazine. Pacheco. Bring man, Magazine got Pacheco 8, do, bro. Berlinga 10. Bro, look how close they what? are to each other. This is, I, I, I yo, hear you. You I know, it's you. funny, though, because they say, oh, Ness, you, you never want fights. You talk about the business. Everybody that's called in has called in to tell us why this fight can't happen except for Drew. You got to listen. And, and, and Suleiman. But everybody else that's, is like, nah, it's too listen. soon. Even my own co-host, y'all crazy. Yes, what what would be smart is for put to put Pacheco on the like, uh, hold on, Danny. Career, before I get I off, I just think her. that from a business standpoint. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what would be smart is to put Pacheco on a Berlango like diet. Let him get up, pile up some a easy Berlango knockout. Diet, the, the one that y'all afraid of. If he ain't been fighting nobody, no, fight him. you're not listening. You're not listening. In the same diet they had Berlango on when he had 15 fucking first round knockouts. Put Pacheco on that diet, let him get some momentum and get some buzz about him, and then once he's got that momentum and he's able to sell out more than three thousand in LA, I gotta go, man. Then I you gotta do the go. I fight. never thought I hear this from, from a guy like you, man. Wow. Hey, wow. man. Hey, the business shit is wearing off on me. What can I say? These <laughs> business motherfuckers are wearing off on me. But I'm out, Yo, man. Peace. Man. I love y'all. Crazy, man. <laughs> Boy, can't wait for that shit to drop. They shaking in their boots from that Puerto Rican monster. This crazy. I ain't never heard so many callers redirect the fighter. Hilarious. And they called me the protector. I thought we was talking Berlanga, not Matias. No. Matias. You hear me? Yeah, I hear you, you. You said a Puerto Rican monster. I thought we was talking Man, Berlanga, not Matias. Man, let's not even cap. Berlanga was the first Puerto Rican monster. Let's not even cap. Man, what up, I Chandler? Saw, uh, Matias killed somebody years ago, bro. I've been scared ever since. I mean, Far that's why people lining up to fight him. You got Elvis you, Rodriguez. Let me pause that. You got Elvis Rodriguez trying to fight you. Michelle Rivera trying to fight you. Devin Haney trying to fight you. Tiafimo Lopez trying to fight you. Uh, and Liam Paro signed to fight you. So how the fuck you a monster? I mean, you guys trying to unify everybody else trying to unify. Say a what? World champ. Say what? I say you got two guys trying to unify, and everybody else is trying to become a world champ. I mean, champ, so. unify don't got nothing to do with being a monster. If you a monster, then ain't nobody running two monsters. Is all I'm trying to I say. I mean, you can't you can't unify without. Run into the world champ. You could go unify with other champions. Y'all could unify with each other. A fight that been brewing. Now, what's your counter to Wait, that? What fight? So what fight been brewing? With Fucking the other world Devin champions? and Tio. Yeah, but we yeah, know but, it makes yeah, sense but, to come yeah, in but, with more belts. Yeah, 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 yeah. It makes sense. Here go these business. Yo, and they say I'm the motherfucking uh, manager here. Derek Lincoln, two dollar super chat. He All says, right, "So, so just to be clear, though, he don't just like to be losing. Clear, he don't like losing. No, just, no, 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 no. Cool, bro. Like you, the yeller, not me, bro. You got it. But just to be clear, you ever call him anything close to a threat? I'm on your ass. He a scrub, yeah, he yeah. a scrub. He ain't shit. All right, cool. But don't ever, don't ever reference him to be anything close to a threat on this show, because you gonna get called out, champ. Yo, fam." Oh, 
me, siento, me siento como Berlanga. A mí que cojones con quién tú anda. What up, yo? Venom. Uh, yo, so, I know, now I know why you got all this energy, just like Berlanga got all this energy for Pacheco. Because I looked at that tweet, like when you were saying the fucking greasy too. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, he was talking greasy because he added the wrong Diego Pacheco. It don't matter. Too. It don't matter. The world know who we talking about, and the world added the right one. Pacheco know what it is. Like, yeah, yo, you calling the Patek too? Now, no one's now, protected. Now, now he don't got to fight him because he added the wrong Pacheco. Ooh. I'm just saying. That's why he's fucking brave. But listen, Diego Pacheco, I was never high on him. Oh, I knew everybody what, jumping off the wagon now. Oh, you can go back and watch my 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 last call in. I was never high on. He's a good fighter. This He's a crazy. solid fighter. But I never thought he was gonna be some world world champion type of dude. That's gonna, I hope, that's gonna I go hope up the division. Is this shit so he can see how perception changed to him so quickly. Motherfucker shaking Bro. in their boots. They don't want to let the I leash am... off by Checo. That's crazy. Yo, and yeah, I'm, getting, so... I'm getting all races and nationalities calling in to defend by Checo. That's hilarious. Oh, like, why do you say that? Why do you say that? Why do you say that when we not saying that and his own team said they don't want that? Like, come on, bro. Like, for you to say Pacheco and, and they team shaking in their boots and they don't want to fight. I say y'all shaking Berlanga's... in y'all boots. Yeah, the callers, the people defending. I'm not talking about Okay, cool, Pacheco's but why team? not say that about his manager and his team? Who's manager? The one that said they don't... Keith Conley. The one that said they don't want to fight. Bro, because Belanga's the fighter. Alright, I hear you. Yeah. I mean, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I love that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Venom. I'm gonna rewind your time because I love how this dude is trying to fuck up my man's perception in the streets. Like he ain't the one that left top rank because they wouldn't give him the tough fights. The fuck are you lying for, bro? Or they wouldn't give him the money. Get him paid. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. He wanted the tough fights, and you know it. You know it. The man told what? us the same thing. They didn't think Bro, he was ready, and he thought he was ready. What? And that's what we're talking about right now. That's what we're talking about right now. So they ain't right so they, they ain't offer him. They ain't offer him nothing, right? They ain't offer him nothing. Like what? Because you know he wanted Rosado, and they ain't want to pay. What are you talking about? What are you talking Bro. about? So, so I'm saying they ain't offer him nobody, right? Who they offer him? You tell us, cause I know, I know they all they wanted. He wanted uh, Rosado, and they ain't want to pay the two fifty. So what they offer him? What they offer him? What's the Dusty Hard name? I don't know. I'm waiting for Danny. He over here like putting powder on his hands or some shit. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> Man, look, 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 yeah, I mean, I thought, you was gonna, Columbia. I thought you was about to smack, you know what I'm saying? It's the next Friday movie, but go ahead, Venom, this guy, he, he, oh, he ain't gonna I, tell us, I, he ain't gonna tell us who they allegedly offer, he just gonna shout it out like he know. I think it was Dusty Hart and Rosado, I think it was the only two names, because those are the only two names they got over there at Top Rank. I it wasn't to Rosado, because they ain't wanna pay, Rosado wanted 250000 bro, I was holding that shit for years, like, everybody knew that shit. They ain't want to pay. Was, uh, the bottom and, and, and line he's is worth, this. He's the worth bottom every line penny is this. He's worth every penny of that two hundred fifty thousand. And I and I agree with you, but the bottom line is this: but Edgar Belanga left top rank because they didn't see out of eye. What they didn't see out of eye on, Edgar felt he was ready. They felt he was not. They wanted to keep grooming him and paying him a certain amount to groom him. He wanted the big fights to get the big money. So y'all can say whatever uh, y'all want. His energy is, I want the fight. Just like right now. I want Pacheco. You a fucking bum. His words, not mine, Pacheco. Go ahead, Venom. My bad. I never thought Pacheco was that guy. I thought he was a good, solid fighter on the same level as Berlanga. Y'all was overhyping Pacheco just because he was a part of the David Benavides camp. But now he got exposed and y'all jumping shit. Not exposed. me. I've been consistent. Yo, y'all yeah. funny, man. He's fucking boxing fans. Y'all, y'all jumping off the shit. A motherfucker get a decision win and he get exposed. Y'all jumping off the shit. I'm not wait, jumping wait, off the shit. Wait, 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 wait. He get a decision win. He get a decision win after we told y'all he was going to get a decision win. <laughs> And now, as far as y'all and, fucking, and, and he yo, the one using the word exposed. Dumb motherfuckers calling in, yo. He the we one using the word exposed. He the one using the word exposed. 
and, and, and now he ain't shit because he did what we said he was going through. Oh, man. As far as Hitchens. Hey, shout shout uh, out Sean, though. Sean put up a good fight. I heard uh, Hitchens, I hear him saying he wants George Campbell. Him and George Campbell both going back and forth. I don't want to see that. I don't want to see him fight Regis. That's like Bro, he beat Regis. How he going back and forth with George? George got a fight. Like, and, you know. it, and, and if George win, he ain't getting that fight. He being Hitchens. And if George lose, Hitchens should not fight George. Like, I mean, don't I don't get me wrong. They, don't get me wrong. He could fight George down the line after a couple tunas. But George, you know, yeah, he a former champion. It'll be a, the only second former champion on Hitchens' resume. But you can't get him off of, like, all these. Like, yo, bro, he had one win since T.O. And it's controversial. Like, George got to cut the shit. He need to bite down this camp. He got to get a draw or a win, bro. Shit is... It's not looking good. Yeah, but that's my call. I just want to see him get the re- him have rematch of that dude. I don't want to see the Regis fight. I need. Uh, a, I feel like Regis uh, ain't that guy. All right, Venom. Hey, hey, Brandon. Can you send me any like church music? Like, I'm just feeling so bad right now for for the how the Mexicans are abandoning Pacheco today, man. This shit is crazy. It's like no love for my man Pacheco. Two dollars, Derek Lincoln sent the cash app for the. Bear emoji, headphone emoji, which is Kenichi Bear. So Derek has his fifth entry into the raffle for the Kenichi Bear headphones right here. You see him. Danny's wearing the white set. Those are the Hibernation 5s. This is Hibernation 5C because they're black with different drivers, better processor, and obviously the detachable, attachable mic that you can see from the older set is already phenomenal as Danny uses them to do the show every day. We give a set away every, day. every month. And the last set was Kansas City's own Mad Bent. That's the second pair he's won. He won a white set. Now he won the black set. Suleiman the Scholar, you have a counterpunch uh, that you need to claim, my friend. And Toledo... Sharice, counterpunch from Box for Money. Yo. Yo. What up, though? What up, though? Shout out to my man for the counterpunch. I appreciate that. But uh, I'm hearing people with the Pacheco guy. Hey, man, with Pacheco, man, I'm going to say that he probably need him like a... uh, like an Alante Fox or like a Jason Quigley type of guy. I don't know. <gasps> you feel me? And that crazy. type of event. I'm just, hey man, something to build. You feel me? Nah. Build back. Uh, uh, man, I, I mean, I, I'm 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 shocked, man. Like Pacheco, <laughs> y- you know, um, y'all digressing him so much. Like Pacheco, I, I was expecting people to be like, nah, if if he can't get the Belanga fight, give him the back the bully fight. Like y'all straight. Spoon feet in him. This is wild, wild, wild. I mean, what's wrong with taking a step back to rebuild? Ain't but, nothing wrong. But with what that. he do? I mean, wrong. It's, like, it's like your man. It's like Ryan Garcia. Like what, Ryan Garcia. What did he, he step do back wrong? With Oscar Duarte. What nah, did he do I think, wrong? I think, he won I think the fight. You, I think you spot on. I think you spot on. You just, bro. The thing is, is you too emotional. You let you let uninformed people like like just piss you off. Like, bro. I think. You you right on par. Back to bully of Vladimir Shishkin, like those type of names. And Shishkin is I'm, now with the zone because Salida got the deal. Like we can't be going backwards. It gotta so, be Berlanga. But that'll be a good ass so do, fight. Right, What's so wrong with so do you see that? So do you see them putting them? Then I, I don't think that Shishkin is a. Philly? I think Shishkin. What about the Ro- listen? Listen. What guys, about the Rohan guys, guys, guys? I just okay, think okay. I just think that Shishkin is as tough or risky. As Berlanga. Shiskin ain't no bum. Bro, okay, so again, you're right. too emotional. You let him what Carla's saying get under your skin. <laughs> Champ, think logically. From a business standpoint, that is an easier fight to make. It is a cheaper fight to make. The risk is there, yes. But from a business standpoint, we know Berlanga, Pacheco is going to be a difficult fight to make. So yeah, cool. He might be a, a difficult guy. He might be a, I just don't a, a, a get why guy with risk. I don't get why it's difficult. Like you would have asked me a week ago, 
I would have thought it was difficult because I would have thought Berlanga didn't want the fight, bro, because Pacheco's the one on a knockout streak. This is the first time he don't get a knockout in a very long time. So again, so you wondered, so you wondered the inception that 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 Berlanga caught him out on some on the uh, oh shit, I see something type shit. Of like, course, oh, I, watching- I mean the last two <laughs> tweets in the forty eight hours have been based off the fight. I mean, I, hey man, and and I think I, the I, second one is based off Danny Short though. You know, cause... I was going, all right. So, what you think about the Pacheco? Like, when I think about, like, I, I'm, I like the Berlanga fight. I don't like it. Like, when I'm looking at, when I, from what I seen from Pacheco, I don't like that next because I, I see like the, what's the man that Berla, that not, uh, that what, and Billy just fought that Bro. Rohan Mur, Murdoch motherfucker. Man, Rohan Murdoch. That man, is, stop, like, man. Who the fuck is he, that, he ranked, man? Top, he ranked top fifteen. He ranked top fifteen. What's My the man? Dude, what you mean? Why, but why? Like, how does that help Pacheco's yeah, fucking in popularity? One sanctioning body. In one sanctioning like, how does that help Pacheco's still... popularity? What is that doing for his brand? Like, nah, it, look, it's about building. It's bro, about building the skills. It's I about think... building his brand. So the fighter, you trying to build the nice. brand. It's Let a, me this say is something. crazy, bro. I gotta you, go. We trying to man. build the fighter girl, this way. Man. You trying to build Y'all, the brand? I ain't never seen. This is cra- nice. I, this was the easiest fight to make. Puerto Rico versus nah, Mexico. You ain't think that. You ain't think that. You thought. Come on, bro. From a business standpoint, you couldn't have thought this was the easiest. My fight dude, to make. they both with the same promoter. It's two rival countries. One dude is a draw, and considered vulnerable, has been dropped. Now that dude, who I thought would have been the one to say no, who I thought his team would not let him fight Pacheco, he thinks Pacheco's a bum His team is saying no. Again, I said everything you said, but I'm saying he thinks Pacheco's a bum. He now believes he could beat Pacheco. He never said that before. This fight's been talked about. This fight's been talked about. Eddie's talked about it. I mean, it. what'd he say before? What what has he said before? Nothing. 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 Another super middleweight in there. Nothing. This is what I'm saying. It's the first time. I All just... Right. If you could show me any other so, time... So, no, no, no. How about you show me what fight in the history of the sport... I call you out for however long the moment you mention my name, it gets made in 48 hours. He's the A... I'm going to let you be, man. I'm going to let the you... You're not, even li- you're not even listening, man. Again, for those people that want to listen to me, I am trying to say the a side. we were under the impression as a community of boxing fans that the a side in Berlanga would not take the B-side in Pacheco because he is a puncher. That's what we thought. The fact that now he wants to fight and y'all all acting like the puncher in Pacheco no longer is a puncher and needs to be spoon-fed and baby-stepped and sidestep I mean, Berlanga it. is hilarious. Dude brought up Definitely Vladimir Shishkin. Me, but... That's insane. Counterpunch, Drew. I mean, I brought up Vladimir from a realistic standpoint, hey, yo. but yo, you know I'm more than yo. the managers. Y'all hear me? Yeah. We hear you. Y'all, what the fuck is going on today? Wasn't his name Bum Langer? Word. Word. Weren't they saying he was a hype job, Bum Langer? He ran from top rank to go get the easy route from Eddie, and now we putting the kid gloves on Pacheco? <laughs> What's going I'm on? I'm glad man? you see what I see because these guys, they're making it seem like I'm wilding. I just, I want this. I want the BBL nah. that Danny wants at the fight from Mexico and <clears> Puerto <throat> Rico. I want some Coquito. I want some Mofongo. Like, what the fuck's the problem? Get Jay Benitez in here. Get Suleiman. Let's build the Godzilla of the fucking 168 up, baby. How is that? A, I, I get Danny's point of both guys are going to want a certain amount of money. Nah, nah, bro. Nah, nah, nah. It's nah. easy because you they cool, on the same bro. side of Look, the street. Look, hey, you're going to get your coquito. You're just going to get it on pay-per-view. 
I mean, if, if we're going to act delusional I'll, on I'll, the I'll business, UK, then I'll let's take, be delusional. Danny, I'll take this is a pay-per-view UK. fight. I'll take that UK pay-per-view price. I'll this take ain't no pay-per-view fucking pay-per-view, pay-per-view fight, fight bro. This is cap right now. <laughs> They're trying to protect Pacheco. Damn. So you tell me, you tell me. No, no, no. I ain't trying to protect Pacheco, but you tell me how you pay a guy $1.5 million, He only brings in a third of that at the, at the, at the, at the gate. You ain't getting no pay per view, and you ain't paid your opponent yet. So, Danny, so make it make Danny, sense. Danny, you you tell us how it makes sense for 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 top rank to pay Shakur a minimum of three million, and he don't do the gate that Belanga does. Um, and let's not uh, act like Pacheco. Is that is that confirmed? Because I'm pretty sure I've seen bigger gates from him in in Newark than. Double, double check, double check. If I'm wrong, I mean, you the one opening your mouth. I mean, you the one I'm not the one talking out my ass. You're saying, you're saying, yeah, I'm questioning. Usually, I read stats. Dollar, million and a half dollar gate. Danny, say it again. You saying Pacheco and Berlanga can't do a million, a million and a half dollar gate in Chicago? Okay, cool. Cool. Now, now you did that, and then what do you have to pay your B side? Because you you ain't even paid your A side yet. So what do you have to pay your B side? Network That's money, sponsorship money. Network, what are we talking the about? Sponsorship, but the network budget. The oh, allocated okay. funds. Okay, there cash you go then. In the, in the it's it's an easy the it's an easy fight. Now we just got to get Berlanga's manager cheap, on board Danny, to to Danny agree to that cheaper, fight. It's cheaper than wanting Danny uh, Danny Jacobs. You know, Danny Jacobs gonna want way more. Danny Jacobs gonna I mean, want I didn't, the I didn't say Danny Jacobs. I said who Berlanga's fighting next. Y'all just y'all just choose not to listen. But I'm giving the alternative of who they was talking about with Danny uh, with, with Berlanga and I, like that. I, and I'm the giving you and I'm giving you the reality. The, they were they were speaking of of that expensive alternative. You're correct. And and the reality is it was too expensive. So that's why I gave you you know the guy he's actually fighting, but. All uh, good, brother. I'll close out with this, though. I'll close out with this. Danny, you right. That is a beast. Puerto Rico and Ukraine, with baby. David, with David Puerto Bikinius, Rico and Ukraine, with baby. Bikinius, Let's go. Danny. David McWater. Oh, I'm just so David excited Bikinius for the and, and, and Debra Chenko. No, no, he's trying to talk to you. Why are you all, like, not listening? The bell been rang. He keeps saying No, Danny, bro, the Danny, excitement, Danny. the excitement just flowing through my body. I couldn't contain it. Such a hater. Oh, good. I'll pop in. Look, you just took that old, the, the dude, the whole question away. The bell had rang, but nah, look though, champ. You making it seem like. Uh, I so don't let me want give you stats. Fight. Let me give you stats. Okay, give me stats. Shakur versus Gueva. Who? Uh, Gueva, Guara, Guavavera, a long time oh, ago. Come on. Yeah, no, give us some reason. Bro, man. just like, relax. What the fuck is that? Relax. Relax, man. Damn. I mean, you can't even say uh, the guy's name. That's hell. all I'm saying. All right. You asked me to find it. You didn't you didn't want to find it, right? You didn't want to do the research. So just chill, bro. Let me What you mean? I've done the research. I know he's I know he does more James than James Benitez, counter punch, man. Counter punch. Yo, Ness Danny, man. How y'all doing today? Oh, good. Sensation. Man, I feel vindicated. I feel vindicated hearing what the callers are saying about Belanga, man. This shit's a trip. You know, just last week he was Belanga. This week, man, he's the future star of boxing like I've been saying. You know, um, the only person that's for real out of Team Benavides camp is David. That's being exposed. The highest accolades, that Pacheco, the Rio. The only thing that they're going to get is just them, maybe a regular title or just those NBA, the NABO straps that they like to carry around. But what's next for Pacheco? Hmm. Let's go ahead and just build him up, man, because he needs to work on his skills. Because you can't just get beat up by somebody's sparring partner and shit, and then you're going to get to fight for the big dog. Kind of like what Team Ken was doing with David. They're giving somebody else from their team, see how he performs, and then see if he, if he does well enough, he's going to get the big fight. Pacheco underachieved. So Pacheco's going to have to fight like the Lukilas of the world, the Kevin Newmans. We can even say Carlos Gengora or even Steven Nelson, somebody that top rank and whoever else tried to throw at Belanda. Fight those lower tier fighters. I think that would probably be good fighters for him to work on his skills with. Now what's next for Hitchens? I think he probably would like this matchup, Ness. I think Hitchens need to fight um, uh, fighter Ernesto Mercado. 
He ain't taking that fight. I think that'll be <laughs> Who ain't taking that fight? I think Hitchens will believe he could beat that boy. There's no Easily. way he's taking that fight. That is a that is a that is that is that is that is, that is uh, Get the fuck out of here, man. He'll definitely take that fight. He'll probably <laughs> knock that boy out of that jab. Like, you, stop it, man. Stop it. Yo, so look, man, did you did not you watch Mercado this Friday? Friday? Come on, man. Against that fighter? Did you Come watch on, him dog. or not? Because he, I did watch he is the I only dude the to stop that, 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 that fighter. He's the only dude to stop him. Did you see the power jab Bruh. that Mercado uses? <laughs> Bro, he ain't fucking with Hitchens, man. Hitchens is way too technical of a fighter for him, man. You can think what you want I after mean, what you saw that's, against Lemos. That's cool. But Lemos that's is cool. Mild. Listen, he Lemos fought on the zone Friday, back. man. He fought on the zone mm-hmm. Friday. All you got to do is, you know, say a little prayer. Hope they make that fight. Let's see it. I would love to I see hope, it. I hope, I would I love hope to they see do it. make that fight. I hope they do make that fight. Or he should fight a common opponent with Regis, man, as in Zaria, who gave Regis a tough time. Who? He should come back with an opponent like that. Uh, Hitchens. And last but not least, man, they should pick up a, maybe the man with no land, like Albert Pollo. I don't think he's with dealing with PBC no more, right? Yeah, he is. If that's the case, man, that, oh, he still is? Yeah. Well, scratch him off, man. I was just trying to think of two other names besides the common three, man, besides the Montana Love, the Regis, and so on, man, and Matias, you know. But with that being said, this is a good this is a good they day for Team Mercado, Belanda. man. Man. Why not, man? You why not? <laughs> you funny <laughs> you as hell. Hit you, man. That's easy. That's easy fucking work, man. That's easy <laughs> fucking work. You know your pro, your prospect your former prospect of the year, man, is gonna get broken down, man. But I think it'll be. A, I think it could potentially be a good fight, though. I think Mikado can learn a lot of things and probably help him build him up to be a better fighter in the future. <laughs> but I think right now, that's he what, said, that's "Learn what a lot of needs. things." <laughs> mm-hmm. <That's the> <laughs> hey, nah, what's, Hitchens what's, got hey, the experience that over Mikado, man. Hitchens got 18 fights, so Hitchens definitely got the experience over Mikado on the championship level. And Mikado, uh, he fought yeah, one, he has fought one former fight. champ. He fought one former champ, and his headlines. Or his cards have been bigger, so he's been under the brighter lights. You know, his cards have been bigger. I mean, but, uh, I mean how, y- how y'all niggas been talking shit about Hitchens all day? Y'all acting like he doesn't really do big cards, man. You say he did less than 3000 Yeah. So uh, I think a opponent like that is pretty affordable. Uh, anyways, man, shout out to y'all. Shout out to the community. And Danny, man, um, to you, hey, man, you got to give you gotta give the quote some credit, man. Everything she said when she had that face-to-face with Alicia, she spit nothing but straight facts. What, what, what did I say to discredit her? Hold on, hold on, hold on. But what, no, but what did saying. I say to I'm discredit saying, her? Man. You, didn't, you didn't say anything. I'm just saying, man. I said your feelings right. might be in a bunch or whatever. But what, what facts? Like I should have. I should have, though. I should have, because I ain't shit but a dick rider. Let her tell it. So that's what I should have did. <laughs> damn. She called you. Damn. So she ain't even. I what thought you it was mean, a, she? Man. What you mean, she? I thought she it was, called you and I dick rider. No, but that's what I'm saying. I thought it was just. I thought it was just with me. Oh, no, no, no. Nah. So nah, she's seen you she in talk. person and said nah. something too? Oh, no, she ain't said nothing in person, no. Nah. Oh. Mm-mm, but she, she definitely put a, put her hands on his girl, though. She definitely did that. Word. And she definitely said drug cheating and all that other shit. But Word. it is what it is, man. Shout out to the GOAT. And shout out to y'all. You know man. what she it's did, though? Well. You know what she did? She said You know what she didn't do? Except you know what she fight. didn't do? Was sending off the... Yeah, but I mean, I don't even want no offer, and Alicia better not get tricked into going to fifty four. Alicia never mentioned uh, Clarissa's name until Clarissa said forty seven, and people just protecting Clarissa because she said forty seven for Cyborg and for Cecilia Barakas. Like, and let's not act like you know uh, her and Rick Ramos ain't used to go back and forth about McCaskill. Um, now, I don't ever remember her agreeing to fight McCaskill at 47, but we all know that she said for Cecilia Barakas and for Cyborg, she could do it. Suleiman, counterpunch, courtesy of Drew. Uh, yeah, I want to start with the Hitchens, right? You know who's guy's a good opponent? Because he's a number one rank. He just won a limited five year will be uh, Jeremiah Ponce, the guy that uh, Subramati Matias knocked out when he won the belt. That would be a good barometer fight, and it also keep him in the ranking. Remember, he's the IBF number one contender now for the, for the, 
for the fight. So to the fight with Subro Matias gets made, or, or they got to give him some step aside of money because he's number one. But Jer- Jeremiah Ponce will be an excellent opponent with him. You know what I'm saying? Can he can he hurt Jeremiah Ponce like Subro? It could be a good parameter fight. And that's a credible rank opponent. Okay? So then now, getting back into the Palanga, does the, the problem with Pacheco is that Pacheco, do is not at the same level, bro. It, it's so obvious. If you see the fights, bro, the, the, the guy's not in that level, bro. He's not in the level. Of, I mean, I'm, I, they, they both, um, and, and paper-wise, they look like equal. But when you see the performance, um, I mean, the guy's a star, bro. They just, they just, 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 just beat them, stop beating around the bush. But, but Berlanga is a star, bro. The way he can cuss McCauley, I mean, the kind of punching power, the star appeal, the, 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 the way he finishes. He's an excellent finisher, bro. And he's back on his A game. He's improved. Look at the head movement. Uh, he's improved. The guy can't even go to a restaurant, visit his friends, and make a steak. It's, it's all over the internet. Okay? The guy's a star in the making. Okay? So, you know, we, we have to be realistic, man. We have to be realistic, bro. He's hanging out with Kurt Sluber, bro. He's hanging out with Kurt Sluber. They got to run for, for May of New York. This guy's all over the place, bro. Um, so what I'm saying is, like, um, if 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 Richardson Hitchens want to recover, he got to do, like, the Berlanga approach. He got to fight the best guy, best opponents at 140, bro. He got to call out the best opponents that are available at 140. He got to go into the fire, bro, to improve. That's what Hitchens got to stop. He got to stop fighting these, these second-tier opponents, bro. He got to go in there Wait, like a Gustavo like a was second-tier to you? Yo, I think I think he gotta go in the. You know he don't like watch boxing guy. for real, bro. Of course. Nah, you crazy? Yeah, I don't watch mind. boxing for real, bro. You say I don't watch boxing for nah, real? Nah, nah. You watch that knockout? You talk. You, 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 you talk about bro, Belanga. You, you watch the knockout Lomos. with Belanga and, 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 and McCoy? You saw the fight where he knocked out McCoy? How for you guys? Of if you course. saw that fight, you wouldn't be you wouldn't be dissing Berlanga right now because right. you saw the power. How am I dissing? You saw him? the power. The what power have I said? No, the, what have I said? Pacheco, to when did when did Who? Diego Pacheco ever knock out that like that? No, what I never seen Diego Pacheco dissing power. You fucking you know what liar! What did I say to diss him? No, no. What I'm saying, I'm I'm not saying that, that he wants money. Him, you said I don't watch fight. You said you just me. You said I don't watch fight. I'm saying if you watch yeah, it, so, if, so if I, if I watch you fight, said if I would watch him in McQuarrie, I wouldn't have dissed them. So what did I say no, no, to no, fucking no, diss if you, if you, if you, No, because you said I don't watch the fight. Oh, you said I, I don't watch the fight. I watched the and fight. And you the guy has followed up. up That's the by, by saying that Yo, I why are you triggering my Miranda. man? Why are you triggering my mans, bro? Y'all can't be lying. That's so. Yo, don't be bro, hating if you, if he got Anybody fans. who thought, look, anybody who thought that Lemos wasn't wasn't a nobody, they ain't watch him. And I, I don't blame them. It's hard. He had only fought in Argentina before. You feel me? So you could only get but so much. The Selby fight was out there and two two other fights that he had with guys we ain't know. So I get it. It was hard to watch Lemos. Not everybody knew who he was. Where? Ronnie. But, 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 who McCrory, I'm just curious, like, and it's genuine, because you know what I'm saying? What I ain't watching before Berlanga. Who McCrory be? That's bigger than Selby. I don't know, bro. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I ain't no McCrory uh, expert. That's Suleiman. Ronnie and Phoenix. Phone lines are open. El Man, Ronnie. He called in in a minute. Because we don't use phone lines. He finally made a Discord. El Ronnie. Hey, you ain't lying. I, I made it a while back, bro. I don't know how to use this shit, man. I'll be working, so it was easy to go off the phone, you mean? You got what it. What are you guys right doing, brother? That was easy. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm here. I'm here. Nah, I got it, brother. Good, I got it, Hell yeah, man. It's good to finally be able to call in, you know what I'm saying? Um, I had to watch all the all the fights on replay, man. That was my boy's bachelor party on uh, on Saturday night, so I watched all those fights. And uh, yesterday morning, bro, I replayed the. I was actually at um uh, all his locals watching the um the Pacheco fight. You know what I'm saying so, no sound. I don't get to hear nothing. And I'm gonna. It was a close fight, bro. Like I, I didn't see it the way the judges seen it from watching it live, but I'm I'm partying with my homies, so I'm watching it 100. percent You mean? Um, played it back. I still thought it was a, it was a good fight, bro. I mean, it was, it was, a, it was a competitive fight. Um, I had to check a winning. I don't uh, take nothing away from the dude. He was fighting. Looked like a good fighter, bro. Looked like a slick fighter. He didn't have a lot of um. 
he didn't really move a whole lot, but he he just he had like um good reflexes, bro. And uh, it was it was a good fight, brother. The Richard the Hitchin or Richardson Hitchens fight was a close fight, man. And I'm with you, Ness, in that twelfth round. I rewatched it. I heard your show yesterday, you know, part of your show, and, and I heard people talking about the twelfth round. So I didn't score the fight. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I didn't sit there and, and you know score the fight. I watched it because I wanted to see you know what what the, what the hype was about. But I did score the twelfth round, and I did score it for limos limos. Um, I just thought that the aggressiveness and he was swinging. People said he only swung the last thirty seconds. I was I was looking like, damn, what are they? You know, what are people seeing here? All I see is, is Hitchens is Hitchens running and popping a jab every once in a while, bro. And like you said, I mean, reminiscent to Floyd. I mean, you know, De La Hoya and Trinidad because everyone says De La Hoya just ran, but he was popping that jab while he was running. You mean? Um, that's my take on on those fights, brother. You saying? Um, I would love to see Pacheco and Berlanga on me, and I, I still I still got. People are calling in talking about not in the same level, bro. I, I know that Berlanga's is a big star, and that's why you bring him up a lot. Ness, you talk about giving him the big fights. I don't think Berlanga's, um, I've never seen the goods that everybody else sees, bro. Even with all them first round knockouts, I've never seen the goods. He looks, um, he's getting better, of course, as all boxers are going to do as they, um, they progress, but he, um, he looked, I and mean, he started to look more fluent. He used to look a little more mechanical to me while he was getting all the knockouts. Um, but I bring it on. I think it's a good fight, bro. I think it's a perfect time right now, too. Fuck letting it build up too high. You know what I'm saying? There's bigger fights for both of them in the, in the future. Um, as we see, you know, losses don't always affect everybody, bro. You guys see my boy Valdez come back, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> a couple weeks ago, you mean? That was his, his thing, saying, like, you know, because you, you lose don't mean shit. You know what I'm saying? You can still come back, bro. And look, he's right back in the mix in, in championship, you know what I mean? But that's my call, man. It's good to be able to call in with you guys finally, brother, man. I hope everything's good with you guys. You know, I'm still in that champ level. You know, I ain't getting no motherfucking, um, I ain't getting my Fridays, my motherfucking, you know, my uh, betting, betting show, but. <laughs> yeah, that's nuts, man. That's nuts. Yo, bro. look at Danny blaming it on me. <laughs> Motherfucker won't give me no more inside info. Hey, no, 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 no. I cannot jump on a show that's not happening. The only way I could be on the betting show is if the betting show happens, so. You know what I'm saying? The show needs to happen in order for Danny to be on it. I you guys enjoy it, man. I'm going. Brother. Da Danny is wild cap. I literally just texted him last week and then yesterday or today saying uh, that his lack of communication is very poor and that we need to fix that. So don't believe Danny. Uh, how many, I how many Fridays told him have you today, hit me up about the betting show and I, and I didn't respond? I literally respond. told Danny today that uh, I've just realized that if I text today, it takes 24 hours or 48 to get a response. Um, so mm -hmm. since he wants to lie, I'll bring up that off-air, serious, <laughs> true conversation just Yo, to show so, that uh, it is so, Danny. No, very so Ness absolutely uh got a response twenty four hours later for me. I also told him, you feel me, like, hey champ, this phone is broke. Just use this number instead for my other phone. And he chose to to text the broke phone. So but the, you know, that is very true. That is very true. He did say that. I only text you um, from I, the number you text me, I bro. That's I, what I keep I telling don't believe you. I don't believe uh any of those unresponded or unreplied texts have ever been in regards to a betting show but uh you know i apologize i apologize y'all should have hit sure me up though we made money all weekend sad. shout out shout out to uh he was iowa bad. he was bad. Look, shout out to south football. carolina shout out Let to yukon Shout out let him. He ain't gonna let you cook, shout out Jerry. You gotta, let you gotta let, let him, him finish. Cook. He ain't gonna let you cook. Lunes, amigo. Fernando Vargas was 22 goddamn years old when he faced one of the most terrorizing welterweights in the division, and Felix Trinidad. What well, these young men are gonna have to realize is that when you talk to talk. In today's social media, at some point, the fans are going to make you walk the walk on that damn plank. You can jump off by being pushed, or you can jump off using your own two feet. Hitchens, the time has come, young man. You like to rub elbows with Tank Davis and Shakur 
Matter of fact, you were making fun of Shakur over De Los Santos. Your time is now, young man. The IBF regulations have you drained. So here's what I say to you. April 20th, 2024, you need to be at the Barclays in attendance. And if Haney wins, I guarantee you, he is not fighting Sandal Martin. So no, we ain't going to have you fight another thumper like Regis so you can jab and hold your ass to a 12th round decision. I want you in there with Sandor Martin. Come over to the WBC. If you are truly a technical... No technician, results. Keep working. Like your boy, Shakur. I need to see you in against a boxing ace like Sandor Martin. Let's see if you got the goods, young man. The time has come. The time has also come for Pacheco. Because you got Berlanga exactly where you needed him. He's calling you out now, my friend. My question is, what will you do now? So I say, contraire to everyone calling, running with the tail tucked between your legs. Pacheco, the time is now. Berlanga's on the other line. Answer the goddamn call. This is Jerry Soriano, your lender for life. Let him cook. El Jerry. Shout out, El Jerry. We got General Camino. Yo, Master Danny, what's good? What up? Give me an answer to a question real quick. Who looked worse in the fight? Berlanga versus Angulo or David Pacheco versus Sean McCallum? I don't remember the Angulo fight. Way too Word. You don't remember long when, ago. When, when, Did, uh, you don't remember when Berlanga so uh, my got question, the name Mike Langa? My, so wait, wait, wait. My question would be, was Angulo being warned round after round after round by the ref? Cause I don't remember. Only thing I remember is Edgar Belanga biting him and being so. You don't remember for the either. Next three weeks. Oh no, I do. I okay. do remember. But all I'm saying is, Diego Pacheco could have a bad fight against quality work like Sean McCallum. That don't mean he ain't where he's supposed to be, or he not a quality fighter. Because I think what? No, for sure. Was it uh? Edgar Belanga got his maximum deal off of that right after that uh, Angulo fight, I believe, right? Not sure. Yeah, I mean, either way, he got another opportunity to get in the ring and prove himself. So I don't look at this Diego Pacheco fight and be like, oh, yo, he need to do this or he need to do that. I think he needs to stay on whatever path he's on. If he wants to do the Berlanga fight, he could do that. If he don't feel like he want to do that, I'm fine with that too. But I hear a lot of people, you know, down in Pacheco, and I don't like that. I think that's real corny. I think every fighter could have a bad fight. It happens. Styles make fights. So, And I looked at Sean McCallum as a solid fighter. I watched him on Pro Box. I watched him on PBC. So I think he was some quality work. Um, As far as Hitchens, though, you know, he got in there with a guy who, People didn't know much about, and he came out, and you know he had to he had to battle over some hurdles. So I get that it happens. He they both got the win, so it's not too much you could really say about it. As far as where I want Hitchens to go, it's tough. You know, it's a lot of options at 140 right now. I mean, if he could honestly, whatever big fight he could get, I think would be the best decision. If he could get a title fight next, get the title fight. If not, get a fight that will then lead to a title fight. Or not. He was just in a title eliminator, right? So you don't so like the rematch? Because he was talking about the rematch. Right. A lot of people want the rematch. The rematch? Uh, I guess. If people really want it. But if he could get a title fight next, I'd go with the title fight. Fuck the rematch. I mean, Damn, if anything, so you, you was, get a title. He was happy with the decision. But then. You know, you know, he's, you know he, he said he'd like a two-match Hell yeah, I'm a black American. I'm going to always support fight. my brothers. If you get the win, you get the win. You heard? What happened? I don't know if you heard, but he said he'd like a tune-up before a title fight. That's why I was, you know, saying another fight. Oh, that's what Hitchman said? The uh, post-fight post in the locker room, yeah. 
Oh, that's kind of wild. Shit, I don't know then, bro. We'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah. Outside of that, then he said the, the rematch. Up. He said he said he down to do the rematch in September, but no IBF rules. Do he want to tune up before the rematch though, or do he would he do nah, the rematch? Nah, and... nah, he said he'll do the rematch next, but no IBF rules. Okay, I guess he want to prove himself then. If he want to prove himself and you know make it a definitive win, I don't got an issue with that. That sounds like a decent plan. But I, I need to see him in the mix for a title soon, man. I think he's really talented. I don't want to mm. see him out here fighting a lot of these fights that ain't work too much. But either way, yo, appreciate the call. Y'all have a good day, man. Yo, Ness. Yo, Danny. Want your thoughts? I mean, obviously, we were saying the Pacheco fight was going to be a tough one going in. But how much of it did you think it had to do with him not training? Like, not having the whole team, not having a team in. I didn't know he didn't have the team there. So you had talked to Jose. Somebody told... I mean, I ended up finding out, but I thought you were the one that told me. But yeah, no, he he pretty much trained himself for most of the camp. Mm. As Jose was with David in Miami. Nah, Jose was flying in and out. He only stood a week yeah. the first last time he was here. Nah, Nah, so what he said, he said he'd go spend a week in Florida with David and then a week with uh Yeah. With 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 Diego and his other fighter. Yeah. He was flying in and out, like I said. He just got back yesterday or to y- yesterday. I mean, yeah, he was in Vegas for the fight, but that's what I'm saying. Like he went half the camp plus without the full team. So this is what he's telling you or what? But yeah, that, he did I camp mean, in Washington. They they were in Florida. Yeah, I mean, you know, he's something he's going to have to look into, I guess. Because, uh, you know, you got to have the right team. Everybody got to be doing what they need to do in order for you to be successful. Uh, yeah. Phone lines are open. If you guys want to call in Discord, Twitter Spaces is the way to do so. And if you are tuned in, smash that subscribe. Stop being stingy. Help us reach that next goal of a quarter million subscribers. Smash the like button. Help the show get out to more viewers. Who we got next? Yo, I see K putting mad time. (laughs) I just seen your response to the train. I see K K K putting mad time into Florida. I hope uh she transitioned into like a full pro. Like I see she's doing She's doing T C L yeah. Right? Yeah, everybody's back on that. I guess it's more organized this time around. But not and now they now they're having fans at their event. Oh yeah? Yeah, the one in Miami. I was just watched. Public. I just watched one of them where the dude got knocked out, and 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 now they like putting out posts and shit for him. The I thought Sean Brewer had like a yeah. That, Sean a nasty Brewer knockdown. got a nasty knockout too. That was good for him. I got all RT boxing with Mister A five dollars Ness. It was that head movement in the video. Hashtag Hardin. Yeah, that's what got them scared. They see the head movement. Um, Mad Bent, $102, Daily Dose of Tankwill, Hitchens Fight, only not with a belt. What? Hitchens Fights, anyone, excuse me, not with a belt. My bad. Read that wrong. Uh, Chad in Canada, $2, Rebuild, back to the lab for some inside work for Hitchens? Maybe. Jorge, welcome to the prospect level. RRT back with another five. He says, "My eyeball." Yo, tests. no, I'll say, I'll say that could be for either guy, um, because obviously Sean kept clinching, and it just seemed like Diego. I'm like, bro, like let your hands go on the inside. Yeah. Like, if y'all gonna be on this inside, the ref keep warning, ain't taking no fucking point, ain't doing shit. Like, you know, let him go. So he could be talking about either guy. Um, RRT Boxing says, my eyeball test, I'm going with Tito, KO, Richie. Damn, he going with Tito Mercado over Hitchens. Hashtag Hardin. 
Jay. Yo, I was told he was going to be at the fight Saturday. I didn't see him. I mean, he fought Friday. All the way in Red Owl. Wasn't that Red Owl? So that's Houston. So he would have Yeah, that was in Houston. I mean, he probably could have flown in because he's from Palmona. So I guess he could have flew to Palmona and drove in or flew in two flights. Maybe he just was yeah, not beat because I mean, of the flights and after post-fight. You feel me? No, no, no. I was just saying because remember they, they reached out to see if we wanted him on the show. You never said nothing. So now they reached back out like, hey. He'll be at the fight. So I'm like, in my head, I'm like, cool. I'm going to see him. Right. I ain't see him. Bro, yeah. we were literally sit, sitting in media, bro. Like, damn, parking going to cost more than, like, all the media members are like, parking going to cost more than what we're going to make off the videos tonight. Why? Yeah, I can't, and, va- there's no voucher? No, uh, what is that called? Validation? No, 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 no. They stopped that, like, years ago, bro. Uh, what about you? You don't got that card no more? They took that too? Yeah, 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 but that's only good for the first couple hours, and then you got to pay. Shit. Fucking hate but, uh, Vegas. That I was my first time Vegas. going there, nonetheless, but it was funny because we was like, yo, the only way we're going to make anything is if Felicia and Clarissa <laughs> go at it. And, they and did. even still, even still, it was just, you know. Octo with the $2. You think Pacheco could beat Carlos Gongora? Nah, that's... you ain't read the last one, us, but it's oh, all yeah, good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. J... JV, or JXV88, $2 says, I've been waiting for a Berlanga show. Play it, Ness, with the Puerto Rican flag. Puerto Rico. Hey, uh, DJ did his thing on Saturday, bro, let me tell you. EJ. Shout out to Matram. Yeah, they had a good DJ in the building. DJ was doing their thing. They got a new translator, too. I don't know if you've seen that. EJ. I don't know if you've seen that. DJ. The disc jockey. DJ. Who's DJ? You, bro, just, just get to the next caller. I mean, I don't know who you're talking about, bro. Fun. The DJ, bro. The DJ. The disc jockey. How uh, how else can I put it? Okay, the DJ. What it. about it? I was just saying he played great music Saturday. Oh, at the, bro, at the fountain blue, you saying? <laughs> at the fight, yeah. Yeah, I mean... I, Yo, was that, that was pretty dope, too. Something see... that they did. I ain't never seen done before. I just want to say real quick. Um... If you had a ticket to the fight, that ticket got you entry into the Live Nightclub after the fight. Whoa. So that was, yeah, I mean, it ain't Miami, but it was still pretty cool, you feel me? Way to bring people in. I wish they would have advertised that. They might have got a few more, uh, you know, people staying at the property that would have perhaps indulged, you know? For sure. We got... Malcolm. Malcolm. Bro, but you see how that train is faster from New York to Miami than 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 the one from fucking LA to Vegas and it's cheaper. And that's why I told you. And that's why I told you that you going to be like the fucking sh- the TV show manifest. You going to hop on this train and, and fucking disappear. disappear. Because we're going too fast. We're going to go, like, travel through Bro, time. Bro, come on. Like, so now that it, now that's going to be... Now this train is going to be faster than a plane. And I'm supposed to think that it's safe. Man, go fuck yourself, bro. Bro. Look, how about you get on it first? And then let me know how it go. Nah. Right? Um, uh, ironically enough, we have a caller that rode one in... I think he said Japan. Kerry G. When I brought this up, but the that's last... what I'm saying. Are they travel? Like what you sent me is literally traveling as fast as an airplane traveling between the two cities. I so mean, what I'm telling you, faster. if not, if not faster. No, it's, it's faster. actually, it's actually. I think, I think, uh, New York to Miami is only like two hours. So I think this is an hour and a half longer. I think, like, I've always caught. In five, I think it's like two hours, two hours and a half flight time. And to Miami, it might be even faster, I'm trying to tell you, because I usually land in Fort Lauderdale. So, 
all nonstop flights, three different airlines, three hours and five minutes with Spirit, three hours with JetBlue, two hours, 59 minutes with Delta from nah, New York check, to Miami. Check it United, B. Check it United, man. Two and a half. And remember, I leave out of Jersey, not New York. Malcolm, trying you again. Well, that train ain't leaving out of Jersey. It's leaving out of nah, New York. Nah, for, sure, so. for sure, for sure, for sure. Y'all hear me now? And remember, they got yeah, they, they got two they, two airports, LaGuardia and JFK. We hear you, Malcolm. United, Shout three hours and boy. twelve minutes, okay. even longer. Okay, so the train is giving the train is adding forty, so it's not faster than the plane, like you said. Close though, champ. I'm just saying, it's not Malcolm, what up? Yeah, shout out to the, the, the transportation voice, man. It's a nice conversation. <laughs> nah, but uh, shout out to you, Danny. Don't, don't Yo, act I like you ain't fucking... going to go from New York to Miami in 3.5 hours for $25. Oh, fuck yeah. Listen, exactly. I wish I could do that shit now. Hold I'm on, in, champ. I live champ, in Arizona look, right though. now. I'm from New York. And I wish I champ. could get a fucking cheap flight over there. No, That's it's crazy. not a flight. That's the thing, It's champ. a train. It's... A, it's it's a train traveling at the at the speed of a flight, almost, and they want us to almost. think, and they want us to think, they want us to think it's it's safe. So so what, go try uh, it out. But what about I just told you, Kerry G rolled one in Japan. Yeah, Kerry G would have to call in and say, he "Hey, did it was call as in. fast." Yeah, I mean he ain't talking. And he to explained me, so. how it was. Uh, the tracks is uh, the, the the train is on magnets. Yeah, bro, I'm just, hey, bro, I'm just relaying the info. Right, Go ahead, uh, Malcolm, with the transit voice. <laughs> Y'all good, man. But, uh, yeah, shout out to Danny, too, because I'm like, oh, shit, he's on a Sunday show, and then I realized it was Monday. I'm tripping right now, man. But, um, yeah, so for the, the next fight with Pacheco, uh, you know, I've heard a couple callers already. I definitely want the Berlango fight. You know what I'm saying? Um, Berlango's talking that shit on Twitter. I get it. I'm Puerto Rican, but I, I don't have him beating Pacheco. You know, with Berlanga, he, he, he doesn't amaze me too much when it comes to, like, top Puerto Ricans. I, I'd rather – I see Xander fitting that mold a little better, even though they're in different weight classes. You feel me? Between him, Matias, and then – I forgot homeboy's name that uh, he fights in, like, one of those yo, fighter divisions. Yo, outside of Berlanga and the Angulo fight, how does Xander look more promising? From a technicality standpoint, like just Berlanga just doesn't amaze me. I, I see him in it. He just relies I, I, I on knockouts. I guess I can't argue with you there. Like technically though, Xander do he be putting them shits together. Uh, but he ain't, yeah, he just, he just ain't getting him out of there. And... He ain't getting him out of there like 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 Berlanga. Berlanga get you out of there. He don't play around. Yeah, he just need those bigger fights, man. He he definitely needs a bigger fight because this man is uh he's like what twenty four already or some shit twenty three. Who? And they think he's uh, Xander. Oh, I don't know about Xander. Berlanga, 26. Yeah, but uh, I'm not too convinced with Berlanga, man. So, um, Bro, why you, why I just you want doing to... that, man? You got to ride for yours, man. I understand. Listen, but I'm never too biased when it comes to race and all that. Like, I'll support my race, but I'm not going to sit here and just think that this nigga is like the fucking head honcho for Puerto Rican boxing. You know, he just doesn't impress me. <laughs> you know, and then with uh, but with but Zayas does. Yeah, to be honest, I bet more. I Yo. bet more on fucking Xander winning a title before Belanga. Ayo, hey, ayo, hey, I don't even know if I put the bell. That was the real bell, but 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 but, but why is and Connor y'all, Ben y'all capping? For like a, a good minute. Why is Conor Ben capping right now? Why he got oh with that boot? Oh, the end shit. Yeah, bro. Why you? Why? <laughs> I hate that's, that about Matchroom, bro. I hate that they always talking about the dudes they know they can't get. I swear to God, he better be fighting boots. He better be fighting boots. Why are you yeah, posting that, man? Uh, why are you posting that, man? Why though? Why? Yo, uh, honestly, same why? reason. Same reason. Same reason Chris Eubank posted the bus shit. Attention. Nah, man. I uh, think, let me just I think, get off this last point. I think the, the Eubank shit was real, and Alashik just used the the breaking news to to fill to fill it, and it wasn't it wasn't received well. It let me tell you, Israel Mazradov news versus Bud was received ten times 
more accepted than than the Eubank. The the audience yeah, I mean, did not people, want people, Eubank. No, I hear you. People had these misconceptions about Eubank and Bud and you know, you were selling it like, uh, you know, they were, you know, each Yo, other's Yo, let's can I just get so something off? Because y'all kind of like um, talked through a why portion you, of the call. Why you ain't trying to be part of our, our conversation, bro? Why you trying to make nah, your own I conversation? Nah, I talk about, dude, you turning into CYP going off topic, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. But I'm nah, sorry. with, uh, <laughs> shout out CYP. But nah, with, with Hitchens, um, I'm cool with the rematch. You know what I'm saying? If he wants to do that, when y'all brought up Montana Love yesterday, I thought that, that was a good fight, too. Uh, I'm not trying to, you know, throw any narratives out there, but if he's saying he's cool with the rematch without IBF rules, then it's saying something that the whole fucking 10-pound limit means something. You know what I'm saying? Because he's already growing. You know, you're, you're pretty young. It, it's it's saying something without saying something. And maybe you need to be in a different How old is Hitchens? How old is Hitchens? I don't know. But I know he's young. Exactly. Am I right? I mean, he should be young. I think I got him clocked at 26. Ain't that Devin's age? He's 26? Nah. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, he tw he's 26. Be 27 oh, later this shit. year. What's Devin, 25? 25. Be 26 so... later this year. But I mean, your weight and your metabolism, that's just going to stop around what time? Like, you probably going to still grow. Well, I think I think the weight had an issue. I mean, he if he's saying that he's willing to do the rematch... Without the IBF rules, the IBF rules were simply the weight. You got to weigh in the next yep. morning. Yeah, yeah, he has a certain frame as it is. So uh, I mean, look, yeah, if the IBF is an issue, to if the IBF rules is an issue for him, well, what he really needs to do is just like the other caller said, fight Sandor. You know, if you can't fuck with the IBF, you got to get back in title contention. You got to go after Zandor, Zand Sandor. For that uh, Devin Haney shot. Yeah, for sure, man. And um, yeah, that's really it. And I think that's going to be expensive, Regis, though. He's already, he he's already ranked in both. Good. And then if he's, he's number two. For Regis, he he's has number to make two sure right he now. He's number two right now in the WBC. All he got to do is get Eddie to try to fucking offer Sandor a fight. Yeah, no, but that's what I'm saying. Oh, I think that shit going to be expensive. To offer Sandor a fight? Let me explain to you why. Let me explain to you why. Uh, so, Reed just owed Sandor mandatory. Which is why Sandor received money in December, to, or back late last year, to step aside for Regis and Haney to happen. Now he has received money a second time for now Haney to defend against Ryan Garcia. He signed the top rank. So I think in order for him to step aside a third time, fight another eliminator, and you fight a guy on a different pro on a different network and different promotional company, I think it's going to be expensive. I mean, again, or difficult. Again, like I said, uh, Matchroom could offer him a fight. You know, it's not it's not like they got a date for Sandor. No, I know, and 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 what I'm saying is Sandor being with top rank, Sandor already receiving step aside twice. I think it might be difficult and just a bit expensive for Sandor. Hmm. Ah, uh, man, you woke up on a difficult side of making fights today. Nah, champ, I'm just I'm just being realistic. Cause remember we was talking about why why the defense and all that and the step aside. Well, I found out why. You know yeah, I know so, I did see that interview, uh, but I heard uh, Eddie say something like, eventually Devin's going to have to fight him, which doesn't mean next. Well, I mean, the only reason he said Devin would vacate is because he thinks it's going to be next, and he doesn't think he'll fight Sandor, and that's why Devin had to tell him, hey, not vacating shit. I plan to not just defend my belt, but unify the belts. I don't know. I thought you said that he wants Devin to fight him. So is Devin gonna walk to top rank for a one-off, or is I don't Sandor think gonna get offered to fight on the zone? No, I mean I think I don't think top rank, and that's what I'm saying. I don't think top rank is gonna be willing to let uh, Sandor go anywhere. I think they signed him for a reason. 
to put Devin in that position to either vacate the belt or come back. Yeah, but you he's not big enough. Like, he's not big no, enough. No, he's not. Sandor not, is not like think, they, they, they can't think, use Sandor to make Devin sign. Like, I'll fight your guy. No, no, no. No, again, but the belt is there. You like Step Aside has been paid twice. First I, time from Regis, I'm, now I'm, from I'm so, under, I followed you there. Yeah, so why are they going to keep they didn't sign him to keep taking Step Aside? No, of course not. And I followed you there. Right. So, what part are you lost on? Where you're saying that Sandor can't go to Matchroom to fight him. No, no, no. I'm not saying he can't. I just don't think Top Rank will be willing to do that. I don't think they signed him just to allow him to go fucking lose on All right. Matchroom. So, so tell the audience, if they're not going to allow him... Who what Devin I'll, isn't even with. If they're not going to allow them, uh-huh. then what is the plan? I think they're going to offer Devin... A, a, a two fight deal is what I think. Mm-hmm. It's my prediction. Two fight deal, Sandor, your mandatory, and it's gonna have to be Tia Fimo. But they can't guarantee Matias Tia Fimo. Yeah, I mean Devin ain't Matias, and 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 I'm just saying this ain't no, I'm I'm this ain't no, he's just, just me. He's not Matias. No, he's listen, just listen, the person listen. That, this ain't that, just that, me. That, this ain't just me. Damn, you no know, thinking this no is based here. off of a conversation that no, I'm I, I just giving you context because uh, yeah, I was you know, trying to give you context as well. That To is the same okay. person that asks for three ridiculous offers. So this is the alleged person we're gonna guarantee on a contract. The dude that started at four, ten, twenty. Just wanted to give you context as to why he ain't gonna be offered on no contract. I mean, the, the 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 twenty, just to give the world context, was, was the, father, the father. Which Teofimo immediately said, "Hey, I don't know what the fuck he talking about, but that ain't that ain't the case." Um, you know what I'm saying? Um, and again, this is just based off of a conversation I've had with, you know, uh, you know, one of the top ranks people. They're like, why would we why would we sign him to let him go over there? You talking about a promoter Devin isn't even signed to. I'm like, well, Yeah, well the promoter that Devin the promoter that Devin isn't signed to is offering Devin that fight in Oakland. I don't know if you missed that. Yeah, I mean he's offering a fighter he doesn't have. I did see that. My dude. It's called purse bid. Like you, no, for you sure, know, for the sure. way you sit back and, and talk sarcastically, like they can't strategically go to fucking purse bid and put the fight in Oakland under match room is hilarious to me. No, we they can just can, have a straight. Can. So they let's can. just have a straight conversation well, that, so we don't got to go through all that. I mean, bro, you that. said you saw my interview. You said you saw my interview. In that same interview, I literally brought up Eddie, you know, having a god awful uh, recent purse bid record. Okay, you know, it's like but but all, but, but all but, he can do is take losses with Purse Bid. Again, no dialogue. Tell everybody the name of the fighter that he lost to and compare him to Devin. He ain't losing to Devin Purse Bid. What Purse Bid he lost as big as Devin? Where the fighter was nah, big as Devin? Because he lost McCaskill, which was strategic. He lost Bum Gardner, which was strategic. He forcing those people to resign. Let's stop capping out here, man. Like you know, this channel tell the truth. He, hey, ain't, he ain't about if you to... would have saw if you would have saw the interview like you claim you did, you would have heard me use the word strategic uh uh, uh strategic losing of the first bit with Eddie. All right, but, so, uh, so, so then... you telling me shit I you telling me shit I, I, I brought up to him. That's hilarious because a few seconds ago I said let's stop the tap dancing if we both talk the same language. You understand? Yeah, like... yeah, yeah. But I, I, I was just doing that to show that you didn't watch the interview. That's all, bro. Bruh, how I ain't, I just told you I watched that interview. The Eddie Hearn and, interview? That's the only by, one I did by, watch. And by what you said, I could tell you didn't, bro, which is why I, I brought up, you know what I mean? What was said in it. But it's all right, brother. It's not, like, well, I'm just saying. I know for, for, it's for not a fact. Impossible. I know for a fact that I watched a Eddie Hearn interview where he said he would put on that fight in Oakland with Devin, the fighter that you say he ain't got. So what he what he's telling me is he will make himself present at the purse bid and he will notify Devin of this situation so that Devin don't got to resign. Come on, champ, like cut the shit. Well, if you got that from I mean, ain't that what happened with Tio? Ain't that what happened with Tio? Yes, I'll remind the public. What? 
I'll remind the public the T.O. Motherfucker t- answered his own question. <laughs> yeah, it's rhetorical. The fuck? Oh, Ain't that what happened with T.O.? I mean, T. rhetorical rhetorical questions don't require an answer. It's usually Ain't like- that Ain't that what happened with T.O.? Yes, that's what happened with T.O. When the Triller situation, he had the same promoter top brand. He knew they was going to be a purse bid. They was going to bid on the purse bid. And he also had in- inside information that Triller was going to bid. You know what I'm saying? So ain't no different with Devin. Devin could let this fight go to purse bid, not be happy with whatever offer top rank is giving him if it's not a likable offer. Again, you know, we don't know what they're going to offer him because, again, I'm claiming they can't all, they can't guarantee Tiafimo Lopez on a contract because they could not guarantee Tiafimo Lopez on a Matias contract. You know, Danny's right in the sense that Matias is not Devin, so... Maybe that could magically appear on a contract and Devin take a two fight deal. And just to be clear, this is, um, you know, this is just my thoughts. This ain't nothing. I I did have a conversation with somebody from Top Rank over the weekend about it, but this ain't like, oh, I got inside school from. Nah, uh, this is just my thoughts. What I think happened. Um. That's it? You stopping there or you froze? Yeah, no, I just don't want people to think like, oh, I got inside information from the team about what's the next move or Yeah, nah. I still think it's not a good move. If I'm Devin, I let I let I keep showing my powers and, and great relationship with, with Eddie. I let Eddie go win the purse bid so that I could get the uh, fight with Matias, who's going to require less money than Tio. Oh, yeah, that's another fight. That's another fight he lost. Who's the ring for it? <laughs> yeah, uh, no, so man. I could get the fight with Matias, which is going to require less money to make than Tio. Then I come back to Tio after my matchroom contract is over for my mandatory and my unification. And then I negotiate with Tio from a, a, a stronger A-side position as a two belt unified champion for the fight with Tio for the third belt. Uh, because again, Matchroom pays better and Matchroom has Matias and Matias is not on the level of Tio. So that fight is, should be easier to make. Can we agree or no? Uh, I mean, I think yeah, out of the three, perhaps, So there you go. We'll see how De- we'll see what Devin does though. And and only reason, like, like I think Sandor realistically is a way easier fight to make is just the promoter. Like I think I think Devin working with top rank, Sandor is easier to make. Now if he working with Eddie, I think the Matias fight is easier to make. But if you working with both, like say he's willing to work with both. The Sandor fights easier. If you're working with both. Yeah, because you're saying stay with Eddie, fight Matias, then go over there, try to get the T.O. fight. Obviously, you got two belts now. Um, And that Eddie could win the Sandor purse bid. What I'm saying is, if he were to go work with top rank, to make the Sandor fight happen, Sandor and Sandor only, I think that fight is the easiest fight to make. Easier than Matias. Mm. We got a... You know they gonna want... You know they gonna want a nice check, bro. Who? Matias. I mean, not nicer than Tio, bro. That's just the bottom No, no, line. no, no. But we're not talking Tio. We talking Sandor and we talking... Matias. Tio would be after either of those two in theory. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. That's an easier contract than Sandor Tio. You keep talking two. I'm talking one. Because you're asking me what fight is easier to make, but when you bring up the Sandor fight, we were attaching it on a two fight with Tio on the back. If it's one fight, no, I'm saying for gold, for 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 the zone and and matchroom, and that's what I'm saying. That's probably where you saying work with the zone matchroom, right? I'm saying I don't care who he does it with. It could be the zone matchroom, but the question: What's the easiest fight? 
if Devin chooses to work with top rank instead of Matchroom, I think the Sandor fight is easier to make with. It's my. It's, it's I my know. Thoughts, I, I know. I disagree though yeah. because okay, and not, you can disagree. They're they not giving them a one fight deal. I mean, we assuming that. <laughs> oh man. I love Danny, bro. He go hard. Yo, no, I, hope, I hope you go no, hard listen, for me like listen, this too, man. Champ, I'm your real champ, friend champ. in real life. I just life. told you I spoke to... This isn't like me guessing. I'm your real this friend is, in real life. I just hope you go hard for uh -huh. me like this because... Uh, fuck. That shit was so funny. I forgot. What was it again? What did you... What you, did you, you saying that Top Rank wouldn't be willing to work oh, with yeah. Devin to make the Sandor yeah, fight yo, happen. Yo, I swear to God, in my 13 years doing this... Has anyone had a one fight deal with Top Ray? <laughs> I don't keep. It. I mean, most most deals we don't know about champs. So I'm just man, knock it off, man. Nobody got a one fight deal. I mean, how how many fights is is, is Keyshawn's deal then? Shit, one of the that, bigger stars. Multi that 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 was released a multi fight deal. Not but how one, many? It multi. That's all that matters. When it's a lot, they put the word multi. That's it. That's all that matters. Like so, what number? What number you what put number, in for multi? What number? What number do we got for one fight? Who? 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 Who is record of that? Because Keyshawn's deal is so long, he's been O and O. It's like a Pacheco deal with Matchroom and, and a Raymond Ford deal. Like it's a multi-year deal. I mean, it couldn't be the deal. Raymond Ford deal. They they literally lost that shit. He wanted his first American World Champ so bad he let another promoter win a purse bid. Yeah, I'm, that doesn't have anything to do with promotional rights. We're talking about promotional rights. Right? Ain't that what we're talking about? Well, um, yeah, but you're talking about that Ray's is on a multi-year deal, but yeah, went to another network to get a fight done to another promoter. Is he still not with Matchroom? Yeah, now So he, what yeah, you're yeah, saying yeah, is irrelevant. Matchroom. What you're saying is irrelevant. You're talking about winning a purse bid. Like, that's not the conversation. Why are you mixing shit up? I mean, no, no. Purse bids was part of the conversation because you oh said why would goodness. he win the purse bid. But yeah, champ, I mean, I'm just saying, again, if you're working with top rank, one fight, two fight, multi-fight, I think the Sandra fight is easier to make. Again, I mean, the Hopefully my San, rephrasing. The San door fight isn't easy to make because it is I mean, highly thoughts, my unlikely thoughts. that it would be a one fight deal. It's highly unlikely, man. You you don't even have a, 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 anything to point to, nor do I, because that's how I unlikely mean, it I is. I mean, we could say the same for Matchroom because technically they have the, the, the option on this one, which is why they get an A cut. So, I mean, technically, it's the same shit. He had a multi-fight deal with Matchroom. The same could be said. No. Having a one-fight deal with an option to match is not a multi-fight deal. Hey, I'm going to move on, I Danny. Mean, you win. You win. You win. I mean, I'm good. Champ, it, I tap no, out, bro. That's just, it. That's it. I tap just out. For, for the promoter, oh, can we man. at least agree for the promoter who is receiving a cut on multiple fights? It would be a multi uh, a multi fight deal for the, at least the promoter, maybe no, not the man. fighter. No, at least the no, promoter. no, you can't turn to change the terminology. It's always been a match right option. When Eddie was asked about it, he said it was a match right option. You want to change it to what it is to suit your argument, so you won. I'm moving on. Joseph, five dollars. Mercado will give anybody problems between the hard stiff jab and body shots. I was there Friday, and that kid brings it. Telling you, Joshua, two dollars. Bullet train's been a thing for years in Japan. Tried to tell Danny, R R T boxing, Mister A, five dollars. Yeah, are they are they traveling at the at, at nearly the same rate of speed as an airplane? Is all I'm saying. And if they are, cool. That's been a thing there. I don't get on new roller coasters here till they've been open for six months. I'm not gonna get on a new plane. I'm not gonna get on on on, on nothing new. That is supposed to be faster than a fucking airplane. You know, you know, Ness, when you was a little boy, when you was a little boy, planes were faster than what they are today. Did you know that? Like commercial airplanes. Mm. How fast were they flying? I mean, you could get you could get overseas in, in a in a handful of hours. I mean, so you don't have the miles per hour. 
I mean, I'd have to pull it up, but I know they was faster. And they've literally made them less fast for safety reasons. I'm watching videos of fucking plane engines falling off mid-sky, but yet a train traveling uh, nearly as fast, I'm going to think it's safe. Y'all got it. I mean, you know, I got to, so, I'm the type, I got to let it. So what are you saying that because the technology exists in other countries, it won't work here? No, 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 no. I'm not saying it won't work here. I'm just saying uh, they bringing up shit in other, uh, in other countries. I mean, a 200 mile per hour plane is pretty slow. What they're doing here is clearly more on the speed of a plane or close to it because it's a half hour difference, right? Um, from the plane, from the flight to the train. It's only a 30 minute difference. So I'm just saying I, I need it to be put to use for six to nine months before I consider but using Danny, it. But Danny, I mean, factor this in, right? The average plane is about 500 unless the pilot is late and he takes you to about 700 miles an hour. Uh, you know, the average speed is about 75 miles an hour on a highway. Your average car without U.S. regulator goes over 160 miles an hour on a highway. Uh, if you could get a car up to 200, without tracks holding it down to the pavement, why are you afraid of a train that will be on tracks that has more weight? No, it, oh, all right, you go ahead. I'm sorry. No, because because it's, it's not about being afraid. It's oh, just I thought that. you used the word scared, didn't you? I mean, that's... Safe. Yeah, not safe. Know. Not safe, my bad. Not safe yeah. is what you used. So that's why I yeah, correlated I mean, with scared and afraid. If you feel yeah, if you feel the technology is safety and fear. Yeah, okay. Um well your fear of your safety. You're in fear of your safety. You think the you're train You're saying that. I'm I'm questioning the safety. That's all I'm saying. I'm just saying if it's no, new No, no, you're saying you won't even get on it. So you're in fear of your safety, my I'm not, friend. I'm not getting on it until it's proven to work. Because you're in fear of your... All right, we're moving on again. Danny is one of those guys. He's worse than me. Mavs for the chip. I mean, you're saying no, you're I'm good. scared. You're good. You won again. No, no, no. You won again. You, you're not scared. The train is not safe. Uh, Mavs for the chip. All I said is I need to make sure it's safe. No, you're sure. You're right. So it has nothing to do with fear. Tip, Bellis, you won. For for whatever for whatever is worth, I do the same thing with iPhones. I'm not scared the iPhone from the blow up. Usually just wait <laughs> till it's been out a few months, work out whatever kinks it got, and then go buy them. I'm not the one that's going to buy it when it first come out. That's all I'm saying. You got it. Tip. Yo. So I was thinking, man. Uh. Yeah, uh, rich man, rich man, go ahead, take that rematch, man, take that rematch, or you know, try to try to get a sandal. But, uh, you know, speaking of Gary Antoine, man, it's only one name out there, you know, what I'm saying that that's really suitable for Gary Antoine, you know, what I'm saying big name, man, big name, man, at least for a great fight, and uh. I think that's Regis. We almost forgot about you, Prograde. You know what I'm saying? I think I think Gary Antoine versus Regis. We forgot about you, Prograde. Will be a great fight, man. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, why not? Not, not against know? not against the the winner in Hitchens. You 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 want hey, the loser? Hey man, why? Hey man, why not? You know what I'm saying? We mm. want the Rougarou. You know what I'm saying? The Hoover's who? You know? The, uh, we forgot you got, about you. A lot Prograde. of you, a lot of you guys woke up on the protection uh side of the bed hey, man. today. How am I protected? Well, like, is Gary, hold on, is Regis not a two-time champion? I mean, who who's in position for a title shot, Regis or, or Hitchens? I mean, they both in position, are they not? No, they're not. I, I guess, man, I guess. I'm, I'm just saying, you know, Regis is a common opponent with Devin Haney. You know, go get that Rougarou fight, you know? Hmm. Go get that Rougarou fight, man. You know not, what I'm saying? Not you, the Hitchens fight, be... not the Hitchens fight. <laughs> Hey man, I'm just saying. If you no, I'm just trying to make sure that we hear you properly. I don't know what you're saying, man. I just know if 
I'm I'm asking yeah, I'm asking day. like the last caller that made you call in to purposely uh-huh. ask you why you're not campaigning for your fighter Gary Antoine Russell to fight Richardson Hitchens. What you did now is come on and avoid Chad in Canada's call out. No, no, no. I mean, it's, it's just common sense, man. I mean, why why would we take a step back when we can get a former two time champion? You know what I'm saying? The dude is just a, a belt holder. You know why would we do that? It's not. I mean, shout out to Richardson Hitchens, my guy. You know what I'm saying? But you know, it's it's like right there for us. Like he doing the same thing, y'all. Y'all, y'all say Gary yes, he's back. <laughs> he, <laughs> what's the dude? What's the dude who held the belt at a uh, at 140? I forgot his name. He's fighting on YouTube. You know who I'm talking about? What? The dude that you said Gary. The dude that you said Gary avoided. Man, he's the bell holder. He had to drop the bell. The dude that Gary avoided. Oh, pay, uh, uh, the Dominican brethren. You know who? Yeah, yeah, Alberto yeah. Alberto yeah, Puello. Yeah, Puello. Yeah, 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 I mean, it's it's not like it's not like uh he ain't doing the same thing that you said Gary was doing. So I mean, it's just best we go for the uh, the next best thing, man, and that's Regis Rougarou progress. You know, we want the Rougarou. So hey, listen, Regis, if you out there, if your trainer is out there, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we want that fight, man. You know what I'm saying? We looking for you. You know, we going to uh, boil you like some crawfish, man. We want that. that. That's the work we want right there. Don't worry about Pitbull Cruz. Come see Gary Anderson. He said he, said he ain't wanted to. But he said he didn't even want that fight. Yo, yeah. Chill, Danny. Chill. We trying to make big fights over here. I'm just saying, because I, I know that. I, I know I know y'all want a good fight. Then people going to say, oh, he fought a guy that said he didn't want to fight him beforehand. Yeah, well, I mean, Regis, like Regis, Regis literally is said, being Regis selective. literally said he don't want the fight until he get a belt. He is being selective. Which he selective. know ain't gonna be no time soon. He being selected because he also said he don't want the Roley fight. Talking about he want pit bull. It's like, yo, you being mad selective right now. Uh, Timboski. <laughs> Tim Boski, got to unmute. There you go. Yo, 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 yo. yo. Before, I, before I start the bell, uh, so what, what, what's up with Connor announcing that he's coming home? Like, I thought he fit, I thought he lost the appeal. That's what I'm saying, man. You might, not, you might need to, you get what I'm saying? Keep yourself posted. Well, I'm asking you. I mean, that's, that's, that's what I just did. I'm trying to stay posted by asking you. Yo, look, it looks, like, looks, like, it looks oh. like we received the correct information. Danny, Danny, you hater, fam. What are you talking about? You hater. Oh, we clout mm-hmm. chasing. How does he need to clout chase if I'm not even into this social media followers shit? I don't, I don't even know about who you're that, talking about. I just so go with the facts. The, the, mass, the mass say, yeah, don't worry, man. Follow me, follow me, follow me. Because Ness tried to do the same thing. With I that, can't man. follow oh, you. But you he, have he, to he say did, a name. He did, the right, he did the right thing in the end. He did the right thing in the end. You get me? He followed me and he understood the breadcrumbs were dropped like I'm doing for you. What are you talking about? He's got almost a million followers, man. Wait, wait. Why would he need Who to are you talking about? What, what are you talking about? What? Follow him, bro. Damn You it. need to stop. You need to wake up, man. Wake your ass up, Danny, man. You wake your... You wanted to bro, you know talk how many about, people have oh, a million followers? Respect. If Surely you much. listen hold on, hold on, like he asked you to, this, yeah, is your, this is his tactic to ruin the argument no, and have you give up. Name. No, that's what you do. You become a nuisance so that no one wants to debate with you. Like, let a motherfucker How talk. How is it being a nuisance? Bro. Because he asked He wants me to, to wait to the end? Yes. To hear yes. the fucking name? Yes. So now yes. we can't have a excuse conversation? Me. Yes. Excuse me, sir. We love excuse me, sir. It's not a conversation. It's his call. It's his call. Excuse me, sir. Restarting you, dog. My excuse man me, sir. Let me bury you again, Danny. Let me... Excuse me. Excuse me, Danny. Let me bury you again. So, you're to... Uh, sorry. Sorry, man called in and you wanted to talk about... Oh, how I, you see the same way how you felt when Suleiman said you was disrespecting about uh, Belanga. That's the same way how I felt when you said I disrespected you. And the secondly, you want to talk about Conor Ben is a clout chaser. How I is mean, he a clout he chaser lied. when he's trying to make fights? You, hold on, he called out, he called out all these guys. David Haney called him out. Tank fucking called him out. He sent a contract. He didn't, he didn't want to smoke. What do you want us to do? I don't understand. What do you want us to do? I don't get it. You know what? He no, called out I mean, Boots he now. He We've been calling out Boots for the longest. You want us, like people want to say Conor Ben ain't ready. Well. Conor Ben ain't this. So let's put him in there against the Wolves and let's see if he's ready then. It's as simple as that. I want to see big boy fights. I want to see big boy fights. He said he's calling out Boots. That's what I want to see because Boots ain't doing shit. He ain't doing shit. He's on the shelf. He's on the shelf gathering dust, collecting dust, just like Gary Antoine Russell. You hear me, Tip? Fakeless. 
just like Gary Antoine Russell. What's he doing? He's there talking about Regis Prograde. Nobody cares about that. Nobody cares. What is he doing? What is Gary Antoine Russell doing? He just fought a superhero, a superhero in Clark Kent, Clark Cruz, Kent Cruz, whatever that, whatever that guy's name is, man. <laughs> we want to see fights. We want to see fights, man. The zone, the, the zone's giving us fight after fight. You know what's so funny? You know what's so funny? The next couple events that's happened, not even a couple, the next five, six events, it's all on the zone. The zone, baby. <laughs> That's what I'm saying to you. Where are these PBC Stop fighters? Gang banging. Where are they, Stop man? Stop gangbanging, man. Ain't got nothing to no do. one's gangbanging. No nah, one's gangbanging. You, it's when just you, unfortunate. When no you say they all on the I, zone I, I and I lie, lie, I like it sounds PBC like you gangbanging. I like PBC cards. Hold on, hold on. I like PBC well, cards. I like top rank cards. I like the zone so like cards. I like, I like pro box cards. I like pro box cards. I like all the cards. It's the fact that I just keep consistency. I want consistency. I want to see good fighters. I want to see great fighters. And unfortunately, majority of the good fighters are over there, but they ain't fighting. So I want to know what's going on. And Danny, man, you say clout chasing. Why do you think Conor Ben's clout chasing when he's more known than Demi Haney and fucking, uh, 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 what's his my man's name, Bruce Ennis, put together? Can you explain that, please? Be because he posted a, a, a fight post of a fight that's not happening, so... How do you know it's not happening? How do you know? Did you did you talk to Boots? Did you talk to um, uh, uh, Eddie Hearn? How do you know this? Yeah, I talked. If you did, that, I won't say anything. If you, if you did, then pardon? What was that? Yeah, I said yes. I talked to him. Huh? Oh, you spoke to him. Oh, fair enough then. Fair enough then. I can't. I, there's nothing I can debate you. If you spoke to him, then that's that's cool. You you know more than us then. You know what I'm saying to you. And you you are hard to get hold of, as we all know already. You, you don't want to bet. You don't want to do this. You know what I'm saying? You are, you, it is true. You are very hard to get hold of. Very very hard. Why is that, Daddy, man? Why? Talk to me, man. Please, I don't please. know. I'm here I know you every day. Distance. So if people really wanted to get a hold of me, they know where to uh, where to find me at. Are, are you sure? Are you sure? Because you get me. I, I don't want this to be some type of, you know what I'm saying? Some misunderstanding here. You know what I'm, I'm saying? Here, I'm, 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 here, saying? I'm here on but most days. First. That, that is the bell, Timboski. That is the bell, man. Yeah, hilarious. Hawk, Marilyn, what up? Yo. Yo. Don't talk What's to up, him, that's It's not a conversation. Number one. <laughs> Hawk, What's what up, up baby? What up, baby? <laughs> Can I talk to you? Is that okay hey. with you? It's perfectly fine, man. I love this show. My man. God, God damn it. How, how you doing, brother? How was your weekend? Hey, hey Gray. Hey, look. I'm gonna tell you. Hey, look. I'm gonna say something to you. You and Ness. This is the greatest show every day because it's like everybody that call in is in a therapy session. It's no longer just a boxing show. It's a boxing therapy session for everyone. <laughs> I love this show. Um. Oh, uh, 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 Hitchison. Man, I'm going to keep it short and sweet with the Hitchison thing. Dude lost, period. I'm just, dude lost. If we didn't know him, if, he, if we were just watching a fight and it was just two dudes fighting, is this wouldn't even be a debate. He lost, point blank. I don't, you know, that's, he just lost. Anyway, on to the, uh, uh, uh Belanga dude, man. Belanga's cool, but this is just my opinion. Mike, Mike don't go no goddamn way, but it's just my opinion. Belanga is no Trinidad. He's not even uh, been, uh, what his name was, uh, Benavid, not Benavidez, but Benitez. These guys from Puerto Rico were killers. Like, they went to kill for the whole 12 rounds they tried to. And he just don't got it. You know, he's the first, after the third round, he's confused. Like, I got Matisse more of, of a reminder of me with Trinidad, who used to be my favorite fighter because of the for the killer instinct all the way through the 12th round. Berlanga, he's gotten better, but he just, in my opinion, he run into the Benavidez, the 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 uh um uh, Morel, Canelo, even Caleb Plant, he's in a hell of a lot of deep water and a hell of a lot of trouble, even with Caleb Plant. So uh, I just don't see him as champion material to get the belt and keep the belt and defend the belt. I don't think he can do it. If he does, then man, but God bless him. I just don't see this the uh, uh, the twelve round the the instinct to just try to get somebody out there no matter what. I don't see it in him. I really don't. He looks confused after he does that in the first three or four rounds, and they don't go nowhere. He's he just seems confused to me. He just doesn't have it. So uh, that's just my opinion. But he's a good fighter. And if he does get there, hell, great. 
I just don't see it. Um, uh, but Matisse, yeah, I see it. He hunts like Trinidad. He hunts. He tries to get these dudes done. They ain't just trying to get them out of. He tries to, he tries to hurt them, send them to the hospital after the fight. That's that's what I usually see from the Puerto Ricans that that I you know the killer ones. I don't see that in Belinda. But uh, if he gets the fights, then like I said, yeah, God bless him. But um um Danny. No problem talking to you, boss. <laughs> That's my call, man. My God, stainless the call. counter. Yo, yo, you can hear me. Yep. Danny, what's good, my guy? What's the word? What's the word? I ain't nothing, man. You know, I look, man. I I spend more time listening than, than I do calling. You know, I used to get Ness's flowers, and today I'm gonna give you yours, bro. You know what I'm saying? You there? Day in, day out. I know uh, Ness ain't always the easiest person to deal with, but y'all find y'all way. You know what I'm saying? You ain't let nothing stop you from being on this show day in, day out. Whether you late or not, you still show up. And I appreciate that, bro. You know what I'm saying? You, oh you do the thing Ness don't want to do. You know what I'm saying? You go to the interviews. You go to the fights. You know what I'm saying? You, you get that behind the scenes shit that all of us crave, but don't, don't, don't none of us want to put the work in for So. I just want to say to you, bro, I appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? You keep on getting at these people. You know what I'm saying? Because we all got opinions, and you free to have yours, just like they free to have theirs. So I appreciate you. And anybody got a problem with anything I got to say, make sure you push that thumbs up. Share this in every episode of the Boxing Voice Podcast. This shit TBV for life. And if you ain't on Patreon or at least a YouTube subscriber, then my guy, you dumb as fuck. Shout out to El Camino. Peace. All right. Appreciate the call, champ. Appreciate the call. In the words of Lucin, can't stop the rain. Phone lines are open if you guys want to call in. But first, you got to smash that subscribe. We need that quarter mil. Need the quarter mil. Tip. Are you there? Night. Y'all got me? We got you. Got you. Shouts out to the boxing voice. Hey, Danny, don't don't be talking over my car, man. Nah, I'm fucking. <laughs> oh, shit. What's the word? What's the word? Damn, why they why they on your head today like that, Danny? What's going on, man? Man. Damn. Wish I wish I knew, man. I think I think Ness I think Ness probably looking for a new co-host. So he probably want me to quit. That way he could bring somebody yeah. else on and say, I ain't fired him. Y'all seen he quit. Yeah. So I feel yeah. like he's he just trying to get under my skin to He said get under his skin. He hilarious. You give them the satisfaction when you quit, man. You can't do that. That's how my job is. They want me. Bro, to Ness quit, been man. trying to Ness been trying to get me to quit for too long. I said, bro, you gotta fire me, bro. <laughs> uh, y'all gotta stop yeah. believing this dude. Y'all gotta realize this guy's a pathological mentidoso. Damn, not the lion. Yep. He yeah. do it. He hey, do it because. Hey. Cause to him it ain't lying. Ness, it's just it's, jokes. It's, it's, it's not just your call. Let him talk. Remember, See? it's not a conversation. You you See? talking over his See? call, brother. See? Yeah, Ness, Ness, don't talk over my call, Ness. <laughs> hey, but nah, real shit though. Uh, like like Bro said, man, I don't think hit you so wrong. Like I said yesterday, man, I get the most a split decision. And speaking of that, Ness, I know you was talking about the. Was it you or Danny who say the Sandor fight would be easier if you go with top rank? Y'all don't think not Theo not an easier fight like what what happens? I'm just saying no, like an easier say easy. fight to I make. I know what you mean, easy to make. Yeah, easy yeah. to make. That's what I mean. I ain't mean like easy, easy. But yeah, so y'all don't think Theo will be like easier to make too since he with him? Like a, a two Hell fight no. deal? Is now, not easier than Sandor. That's what I'm saying. Like a two fight deal with Theo and Sandor. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, if it is a two-fight deal, Ness don't believe so. I believe it is possible. Ness don't believe so just because of some of the numbers that was being asked. And obviously, they couldn't guarantee Matias Teofimo. Uh, I'm not saying it will happen, just my prediction. But 
out of those three individual fights, I think the uh the Sandor one probably be the easiest. Yeah, make. man. I, I hope he go back. I hope he go back with top rank to fight Sandor. Like I, I always be saying, man, world champ. I want Dev in Barcelona. I'll fucking save up some paychecks and spend the whole fucking thing to fly to Barcelona. Fuck that. I ain't never Yo, been to Italy. You know it's sad. It's sad, bro, because because uh they don't support their boxers like that, bro. They just got their first UFC champ a few months ago and they treated him like he was the president. Man, they walked him out yeah. in front of ninety thousand at a soccer stadium, all type of shit. I was gonna say, yeah, you know they they like they soccer, you know, Barcelona and, and Real Madrid. No, I know that, I know that, but I'm saying they supported that UFC fight, and he he the first champ ever. They could have supported Sandor. You feel me? When he beat Mikey, like Sandor didn't have some good wins. He won the champ when he beat Mikey, was he? He ain't become a champ. Nah, he, he wasn't. Nah, he was nah, it wasn't full that's champ. That's the bell. Yo, you right? Uh. <laughs> what up, what up, what up? Hannah Gabriels is saying that uh, all the evidence will be revealed. Is she still trying to claim innocence? That's a long... I mean, I guess... That's a yeah, long... Yeah, that was... A long, that is was that like investigation May. still open? I don't know if it's open, but that was May of last year, I think. Because she out here talking about... She posted some shit about Clarissa and talking about she got her block. It's hilarious because she tagged Clarissa's store. So Clarissa's store is debating with her. <laughs> Yo, but like, she, like she, a she, merch, like a merch page? Yeah, like the quote store. So so uh oh, right. so Hannah Gabriels is saying basically that that Clarissa framed her uh not to fight her in 2021. And that she should have fought her in 2021, because it's only gonna be worse now. And and then yeah, and then then the Clarissa store came on and was like, how how we duck you when you tested positive? And it's like all will be revealed. But I'm like, yo, how are you still fighting the charge? Like there hasn't been anything since. Like, god damn, I thought the kind of bench shit was long. Tim Bosky, you got a counterpunch courtesy of Jose. Courtesy of Jose. We got Omar S, two pounder. We love we we love you, Danny. We do. Oh, Danny, we love you. <laughs> All right. Oh, T boxing, Mr. A. What? Says, please do the show, guys. Hashtag Harding. I don't know what show you're talking about. Tip, trying you again. Are we getting like off topic now? <clears throat> again, if you are tuned in, smash that subscribe. Don't be stingy. Tip. Yo, yeah, man. No, no, I heard y'all. I meant to talk about this, man, because we calling about uh, we y'all was talking about clout, you know what I'm saying? It was a lot of clout over the weekend, man. You know, uh, the goat, you know what I'm saying, had to step step to the clout chasers, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, when that smoke in front of you, you know, people start to act different out here in these streets, man. And, you know, at least he ain't had that same energy, man. She ain't had that same energy. Hey, I'm telling y'all now, if y'all really. I think y'all want Alicia to step in that ring with uh, Clarissa Shields, bro. I think y'all need to second guess that. That size difference is fucking crazy, bro. That's why the She's fight got to be at 47. <laughs> she going to hurt that little girl, bro. I'm sorry, dog. I don't want that for Alicia, bro. Like, Clarissa really going to hurt her, bro. I'm sorry. Like, it, it, that size difference is too crazy. And then, you know, we need to get to the UK, man. You know, dudes out here posting pictures of him versus Jerron Menace on the internet. <laughs> Like you don't move like move your weak ass home, man. Dude ain't fought for a title yet and been in title position. You know what I'm saying? How you know they ain't got something cooking? Come on, dog. Listen, Boots don't need no kind of Ben anymore, bro. But it why gotta be about knee and why can't be about fighting another top contender at 47? Man, is 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 Connor Ben even a top contender in that weight division? 
What you I mean? I mean, ain't that sanctioning body is what I meant. Fuck sanctioning body? Bruh, fuck a sanctioning body now. Nah, nah, man. It's got to make sense, bro. Is it a good fight or not? Nah, it'd be a hell of a fight. You I think so. Why are you worried rounds? about sanctioning body? For, I mean, for like the first three rounds, it'll be a hell of a fight. You know what I'm saying? Conor Ben gonna give it his all, and you know what I'm saying? Boosie just gonna whitewash him, you know? But it's like, it's like, come on, bro. Like, he, that, that's clout chasing at his finest, man. That's really clout chasing at his finest. Like, ain't nobody thinking about you, so here you go mentioning boots. Like, come on, bro. And for, you was just about to fight Tank at 140. Then you was, then you was gonna jump up two more weight classes to fight Eubanks. Like, bro, I keep telling y'all, Conor Ben. It, like, he can't get a fight. He can't make a big fight. You know what I'm saying? Thing goes with Eddie Hearn, man. Like, it's just something wrong with these dudes, man. You know, they got to keep calling back to the PBC, you know what I'm saying? To get their fighters big fights and shit. This is crazy out here. You know, like I said, man, uh, Regis, you know what I'm saying? Come holler at Gary. Uh, Connor Ben, you know what I'm saying? Keep keep putting in that work, man. You know, you're going to get there. There's no reason that Boo should be a title uh, holder before you, bro. No reason Mario Barrios should be in a position to hold a title before you. Clearly, you're not doing something, you know? Clearly, he's not doing something. But, you know, he said, matter of fact, they should try to make a fight between him and uh, Santiago. I think that'll be a good fight. Bruh, didn't I break, break news already and told you Santiago fighting Brian Norman? Yeah, but you know what I'm saying? After the fact, that's after the fact. I what? think I think they should. Yo, do. don't, don't, yeah. don't even try to play my boy like that, man. Ain't no after man, yo, the yo, fact. <laughs> The you, don't think, <laughs> you don't think you don't think Santiago can go to the UK to fight Conor Ben? I don't know. Because it looked better. About. It looked it looked better for Santiago to go to the UK and have a fight with Conor Ben than it does for Boots. I'm not gonna hold you. It looked much better. But yeah, that's it, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to uh, Conor Cloud chasing Ben. All right. Uh, Timboski counter. <laughs> Yeah, man, shut, man, shut your ass up, man. What, what are you talking about? Yo, can you hear me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, salute, yeah, salute to the real boxing fans, man, that know what they're talking about, man. Salute to the brother that gave me this wonderful, this glorious counter punch for me to counter punch, for me to slip underneath that fucking hook from that shitty tip fakeless and punch it right in his jaw. What, what, he, what he deserves, man. What are you talking about? Conor Ben is a fucking monster over here, man. Stop moaning. Oh, he can't fight, dude. Stop moaning, man. We want Boots Ennis. Oh, we're at Dusty Mouth. Oh, clout chasing. No, nigga. No, there's no clout chasing. We want Jerome Boots Ennis. We want Stanley Onis. We want all the motherfuckers at 147, man. It's as simple as that. 154, we're moving up. We fight anybody. We fight anybody. And let me just get back to the point, man, before I cook you on this on, on this Conor Ben situation. Richardson Hitchens, the fight that I really want to see him is, let, let's see what he can do with Dalton Smith, man. Let's see if he can run around the ring and do all that grabbing and holding. And I don't even like to approach, I don't even like to use the words running around because that's not the technical term to use. You get me? Let's see if he can use those slick feet and that upper body movement against someone like Dalton Smith, the power of Dalton Smith. You saw what he did to Zapeda, something that Richardson Hitchens couldn't do. You know what I'm saying to you? So that'll be an interesting matchup. It might be going, I don't want to say backwards, but it, it, it will be another good test against a, a British bulldog, a British bulldog like Dalton Smith. You hear me? And then if not, if not, then I don't know. You can give me the winner out of... Uh, put him in there with Je the winner out of Jack Catterall or, or Josh Taylor. Let's see what he can do with them guys. Huh? Huh? And then pa Pacheco, pa Pacheco, he looks solid to me. He looks solid to me, but at this juncture, I'm a boxing fan. I'm allowed to change my mind like Ness likes to credibly use changing my mind in the sport. I changed my mind that now I have Belanga knocking out Pacheco. You understand? He leaves himself too open for certain counters, uh, and uh, Balanga does have the equalizer. So that would be a very, very interesting matchup. We'll see. We'll see if um, they want to make that. We'll see if what Eddie Hearn wants to do with that. We'll, we'll see, man. We'll see if he wants to put him in position to be a great star in Puerto Rico. We'll see. We'll see. And as for you, Tip Bayless, we're tired of your excuses, man. Jerome Bruce Ennis ain't doing shit. He ain't doing nothing, man. He been at he, he been at Showtime six years. The best Stephen that little weasel Espinosa could do is bring him uh, Lipinets. Lipinets. That's all he could do, man. We're tired of it. We want to see him in there with another explosive, young, hungry, uh, junkyard dog like Conor Ben, man. If you don't agree with me, then come pull at me, man. I told you. We've got uh, assault rifles, bricks in both hands, man. We ain't seen that guy get punched in his chin hard ever since. 
He, he don't run the chin. The chin don't run in the family, man. His brothers had two, two uh, arguably questionable chins, and maybe Boots does. So we want to see it, man. I'm tired of it, man. Well, tip, maybe did you watch his brothers? Did you did you watch his brothers? Farad Ennis and, and Derek and did you watch those guys or is that another two couple guys or 30, 50 boxers I like to mention you don't watch enough boxing nigga I told you I'll crush you like I did behind the back wall and I'll crush you again in public uh, public audience what do you want boy salute Ness salute Dan you know what I'm saying to you salute all the real boxing fans <laughs> yeah What's up with that evil live, bro? That's that UK shit, boy. <laughs> I hear you, man. I hear you, fam. Uh, we got a kachapi. We got some kachapis here. We got, we got mac and cheese. Five dollars. No words. Just love. You the man, Las Vegas. Parate. We got CYP. CYP. Yo, yo. Hello. <laughs> That boy, funny as hell, man. Which one? Fuck. Look, man. Hey, I, Peter Dobson, Rodolfo Alasco, Chris Van Heerden, two losses. Chris Algeri, three losses. Adrian Granados, eight losses. Samuel Vargas, six losses. Boots be fighting undefeated, motherfuckers, man. Boots became a champion. Boots, Boots is so trash that you can't keep, you can't stop calling him out. Boots so trash that none of the old dudes want to fucking fight him because they know in the future. I can't, I cannot stand this. I'm gonna tell y'all this. I cannot stand when the UK does this. Y'all, there's certain Americans that y'all cannot fuck with that y'all are simply jealous of. Didn't Ricky Hatton tell you anything when he got flattened? Didn't he tell you anything like, and Ricky Hatton was one of y'all greatest of all time. He came over here and got his ass whooped and then got shook in his next fight. Don't be setting these dudes up for failure just so you can remain in the conversation. Ain't nobody worried about no Connor Ben. Boots ain't no matter of fact, I don't think anybody here would pick Connor Ben to be. I mean, anybody I'm talking about anybody, not even you who just called in. None of you would pick Connor Ben to beat Boots, and that shit is sad. I mean, nobody. But let me talk to what I want to talk about. What I want to do is this there's a lot of sports that's happening this weekend and shit. And one thing I want to give props to, to TBV is that. A lot of sports shows, they tell the people what to say and they keep talking about the same shit. They don't allow, they don't allow the voice of the people to be heard at all. They will keep repeating whatever the director and the producer told them to say. That shit is whack. This shit right here, this shit right here, nigga, this shit right here, this is that real. Because even though we talk about the hot topics, we still allow the real voices of the people to come in and put that shit in its proper place. And this is how all sports talk should be moving into the future. You know what I'm saying? So next, hopefully, you know, some real shit. Hopefully you are pioneering something that can be good because in you know, a lot of Steve being on YouTube talking about sports is better than watching that shit on the SPN. Yeah, I'm keeping it real. Keep doing your thing, man. See why out. Appreciate you. Um man, Drew sent the fastest trains in the world. Uh what's that? Japan goes 374 hours. That should set I mean, I said hours, miles per hour. That should certainly make it. Uh, it, it looks like because that's slightly under 500, so that 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 could add the extra 40, 50 minutes to make it to Miami from New York versus a plane. But that's the fastest one. The next one, what is that? Italia? Do you know? Italian do you know flag? what the what the one the one you sent me? Do you know how fast that's supposed to go? Is it supposed to beat the Japan one? I don't know, bro. I mean, it just, you know, I sent you what I sent you. That's all. I ran across it and I sent it to you because we were, oh, really because of the Vegas train. I really sent it to you to talk about the price difference. Like, fucking, they going from LA to Vegas for $400 on a plane, on a, on a train when there's flights cheaper than that. Meanwhile, this train is going through multiple fucking cities traveling 18 hours distance in 3.5 for 25 that's 
bananas. Like, what the fuck is wrong with the Vegas train and 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 whoever investors they got? Like, why the fuck they think a four hundred dollar ticket is gonna make them money when there's planes? I'm pretty sure it was only two fifty, bro. But nah, you are correct. It was plane four. tickets are cheaper. Oh, it was four. Yeah. Okay. Well. Nonetheless, I mean, I would just say probably they already got the fucking tracks out on the East Coast. Like, the East Coast already has trains versus... Yeah, I don't like, know. I mean, shit, I hope, I hope they're going to be using different fucking tracks to go at that speed, right? Or at least <laughs> something different. Maybe the tracks, you're right, maybe the tracks can be the same and just a way to stay on them fuckers going at that speed. But yeah, I would love to do it. I've never been on one of those trains. I've always seen those those trains in the movies, you know, with like the whole it's like a whole little house in the fucking spot. I never did that. Have you ever did one of those? Uh... But those aren't the nah. But those aren't the fast ones. Though. No, those I'm sure. Are... I'm sure they're not. I'm just saying, I never did one of those fancy trains. Did you? Nah, I've only done the um, you know, the regular, yeah. the regular city joints. Yeah, I never. The furthest, I never, I never furthest even... I've gone. Furthest I've gone is from Philly to uh New York. I and never even been on it. a train that has a door. Like 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 you know how you always see the movie and it's like four people to a room and it, I never even seen that shit. Never seen. Yeah, I think you only see that like in the Amtrak's. I ain't never been in one of those though, so I couldn't really tell you. Mm, back to the DOT. Yo, boys. but did you hear about the eclipse today? We nah. having a solar eclipse today. Okay, you can't look up. Yeah. You're gonna go blind. I don't know the rules. I just I just know yeah. everybody talking about it on the internet. Now you gotta make something out of cardboard and look up through through cardboard or some shit. Tip, what up? <clears throat> yeah, man. Uh Timboski, fuck out of here with that bullshit, man. We don't give a fuck about Connor Bone, bro. Here you go, trying to pull up the I whole can. Thing the same Listen, man, look. I'm not about to entertain a dude that wants to fight everybody, and then when it comes to making a fight happen, the shit don't happen. Like, let's think about it. The dude was just in talks with fighting Manny Pacquiao, bro. Nothing then wrong with that. that. Was, bro, then he was trying to call out Devin Haney. Nothing wrong with that. Now he's trying to call out, trying to call out But wait, Luke. didn't he like, want to fight with Devin, and Devin yeah. the one said he didn't want to fight him? Ness, let's be real, man. No, you be, real. be real. You be real. Stop let's false be... reporting. Didn't he want let's to fight real. with Devin? No, no, no. I'm going to do you one even happen. better. I'm going to do you one better. Didn't he, didn't he, Conor Ben, and he, Bill Haney, want to fight with Conor Ben? Hey, man, I'm just telling you oh, the truth. Right. The fight so wasn't going to happen, bro. Now your call changed. The fight wasn't going to happen, man. Now the your call. never going to happen. So wait a minute. So wait a minute. So my father manager, my father manager... My father manager, who's the CEO of DHP Promotions, says it's an honor. It would be an honor to Listen, fight Conor Ben. And you say that fight can him. never happen. And and mind he you, learned. mind you, he's with Matchroom, who Devin has a great relationship with. He learned from the best of the best. So man. so did he subject. did he or did he not send an offer to 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 to, to Tank Davis? The Tank said it wasn't enough money. Bro, they didn't send no real offer to Tank because they was playing with his money, man. Come on, dog. Playing with his money. They so, they, so they didn't send an offer for, for $10 million. Man, t- hey, man. If Eddie... Listen, bro. It's like this. If Eddie want to make the fight happen, okay. Okay. tell Eddie, stop playing with people's money, okay. man, and okay. we can make the fight okay. happen. Um, Some shit shake. But we know Eddie going to play with the money, and he not going to make the fights happen. Uh-huh. So, Conor Ben, what he doing is just name dropping. He's just clout chasing at this point, bro. Like, let's be real. Come on, dog. They use Pacquiao for clout. They use everybody name. Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Uh, has has anyone ever sent kind of Ben an offer? Hey, man. Oh, we, ain't got, we ain't had to say. Uh, I rest my case, Your Honor. Connor, hold, 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 hold. That's Connor Ben was a bigger name than all these dudes. My dude, was, my was. dude, it's he like, sent offers. You can't say someone is clout chasing and sends right. offers, man. Just just he let sent, it go. Yo, he sent offers and they weren't. Listen. He sent offers, and they weren't enough. Don't, don't, listen, 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 don't even say that. Listen, Tip, don't even say that, because those parties, those parties, those parties never even countered. Those parties, listen, listen, those parties never even countered, which means they did not want the fight. Conor Ben's promoter sent over 
What, what, how many figures is it, Danny? When you send a, 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 a what is it, eight, eight, nine, seven? Okay, send the eight million, a uh, eight figure offer that wasn't even countered. So stop these narratives. Why? Like you know, we don't like to lie on this show. Hey man, it's like this, they weren't gonna make the fight happen. All right, gotta they, go. They, that they, was the bell. He the refuses. He, he, he's in delusion land, so we're just going to go ahead. That was the bell, because he's, he's delusion land. We don't need to just, you know, we don't need to be in delusion land. It's all right. You know what I mean? Connor has sent offers. The only offer I never heard of was the Danny offer. Like, he always name dropped Danny Garcia. I ain't never seen an offer for Danny. And I think I even asked Danny myself, would he fight him? And he like, yeah. Nothing never came that I know of. But, uh, you know. Them guys put out offers, man. But uh, speaking of Danny, you got anything dropping today? Any exclusivo? Uh, nah, champ. Everything is out. Hopefully, I get some more shit today to be able to drop. But uh, yeah, man, everything is out. Uh, good job. Let me try you one last time, man. He got like two days trying to call in. This shit don't work. I don't know why. And I just want to let everybody know. Oh, few, I hear you, champ. People's comments. I hear you. The millionth times a try. A charm. Yo, you got it? Yeah, I hear you, bro. Dude, I'm over here in the laundry, man. Over here doing my laundry now. I didn't even know I put my hand up. Nah, you didn't, man. Have to you back. didn't. You didn't. I went to you because, uh, again, you have been trying to call in for the last two days and not connecting. No, nah, I appreciate you. I'm going to get you on the next one. All right. You're the man. On that right on. note, uh, last call for alcohol. If you want to call in, now is the time. If not, Nest GTO, Instagram, and Twitter, Danny. And Yes, where can they find me? They can find me on the Boxing Voice. I need y'all to subscribe. I need that quarter mil. I'm trying to not get replaced. So hopefully Ness can hire this new guy and keep me too. So help us get to that quarter mil subscribers. Follow me at Ringwalk Danny and catch us on the next one. Trey in the basket with the late call. I'm about to stop going yeah. to these late calls, yo, with this purpose late shit. Trey, Trey, Trey. Hey, what up, y'all? What up? What up? Yeah, Trey, I need y'all to go like my latest Trey, post. Go share Trey, it. Um, Trey. Yeah, man. Trey, but is the best. Trey. Trey, both on Discord and Twitter. He don't. My man can't. He's on both, and can't get it to work. Unmute on Twitter, cause you on Discord and we don't hear nada. Nada, Nina. All right, Trey, we out. Yo, you playing games. Playing. Trey. Trey. Why the Trey. fuck you playing? Trey. Why Trey. you always playing? Come on, Trey. All right. Nice GTO, Instagram and Twitter. Peace.